Hello and welcome to Free Cheese episode 235. I'm your Joe Dix, joined by Ben Barris. What's up? Matt Soner. I'm back. The Free Cheese is a weekly video game podcast about video games brought to you once a week by thefreecheese.com. No Mark, but you're both back. Yeah. Look right. at that. We trade. And what happened last week? Yeah. We weren't here, Mark was. So what's going to happen next week? I'm dead. Not Joe's survive. not showing up. And you guys don't have all the login information to upload everything, so... Yeah. I was going to ask I was gonna ask what house they were going to do it at, but yeah, that's probably the bigger problem. Yeah, ain't got no microphones, mm. ain't got no life. How y'all doing? It's been a while. You had a birthday week? Yeah, I had a whole birthday, birthday week. And then you had football? Yeah, football. There was wrestling in there. Hey, yeah, man, I forgot. You've not been so on this much. podcast to talk about those things. Yeah. You went to the Royal Rumble? Oh, Take to the Royal Rumble. That, so, that was a great time. Was your Wrestling. favorite? What's the highlight of the night? Ronda Rousey, at the very end of the night, the last thirty seconds. She wants to play Samus. Yeah, I've heard about that, mm-hmm. but she's full time WWE now. She I don't know quit. She's got time. <clears throat> well, she quits. She signed a contract. Yeah, but that Nintendo money. I don't yeah, know. That, there's I mean, that Vince McMahon money though. But didn't Dwayne the Rock Johnson do that too when he was on WWF? Was it? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, wrestlers sign contracts, and then some of them are part timers. Like okay. your Brock Lesnar's, your John Cena's. Mm-hmm. They occasionally come back, usually around this time, because it's the road to WrestleMania, of course. Right, right, the right. The big right. show in April. But, uh, no, they, big they, show's she's dead, not. Isn't it? <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to John. I think you're talking about. Yep. What's the difference? Yeah. There really no They're difference. big. There really yeah. is no difference. You're yeah. right. Big Show uh, played Santa Claus, or a version of Santa Claus, and Jingle All the Way. He did. Oh, my God. That's great. Never forget. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but she's full-time. So, like, she's going to start appearing on the regular shows, or one of them, because they split the roster uh, between Raw and SmackDown. So, I'm I'm watching wrestling again. I didn't know you watched wrestling. I didn't. I was kind of thrown off. I was like, oh, that's cool. Well, the reason why I went to the Royal Rumble... Back when I did watch wrestling, Royal Rumble was my favorite pay per view because that dumb match, just thirty men in a ring, throwing each other over the top rope, yeah. and there's all the dumb gimmicks of it has to be over the top rope and both feet must touch the ground. There was always mm. some oh, controversy with the one foot touching the ground and yeah, all that bullshit. It was just dumb fun. So I always when I started, I didn't really start watching wrestling, but like when Goldberg came back, probably like like last year or something like that. It was probably in like, it was, what, a year and a half ago now, probably? He started making his comeback run. Uh, but yeah, he came back. That garnered my interest. I started watching it a little bit again. And uh, when that happened, I was like, I kind of want to go to one of these pay per views. I kind of really want to go to the Royal Rumble. I watched that year's Royal Rumble uh, the morning after. And then I saw on the live broadcast that the next one was in Philadelphia. And I was like, well, goddamn, I got to go. And. About six months later, I had I got tickets, and two weeks ago was Goldberg I, at that one? No, no. You know where he has been? On the Flash. Has he? Yeah. Good for him. Like the show? Oh, he was yeah. on the Goldbergs too. Oh, because his name's Goldberg. That makes sense. Makes too much sense. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, he was, he was a pr- Barry <laughs> Allen was in jail. Okay. Got locked up for the murder of a man. He was framed. But son of a bitch. In jail, he meets a man named Big Sir, named after. Uh, some cliff somewhere and uh, he finds out that barry's dad saved that guy's life that guy had like uh, appendicitis and his appendix appendix burst and barry's dad was a doctor who was also previously in jail falsely framed for the murder of barry's mom and that guy barry's dad saved goldberg's life and now goldberg big sir or dave he likes to go by dave <laughs> is in there with barry and uh he looks out for barry and then Barry looks out for him. Yeah, I won't buddy. spoil the episode, but <laughs> pretty good. Goldberg goes to China. Go for Goldberg, man. I didn't make that up. I wasn't lying. He takes him to China. Barry runs him out of the prison super fast. Son of a bitch. Drops him off at a little town in China, and then he runs back before the cameras turn. Oh, God, the flash. Yeah, man. He can run real fast. Man, he was the best part of that movie. Justice League I'm talking about. It was fine. Sure. It was fine. All right. Do you have a you have a WWE network subscription now? I don't, but I use my fr- I use my oh, family friends, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. And he's cool with it, so 
Yeah, not just like stealing it. He he knows about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I'm watching uh Raw and SmackDown now on a weekly basis. I really am not watching it. What I'm more doing is I'm on my computer. All right, right on. Monitor and then on the TV in my room, I have wrestling it's on in the t- It's okay, man. It's okay. I'm, you don't, you don't, no, I'm in. Like, I'm, okay. I'm, 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 okay. I'm in. It. Like, I'm in. I'm not sitting down watching all three hours focused on it though, like a movie. I'm. It's in the background, but I'm aware. You know who's in the. Who, yeah, who I know the who's in the ring. The I know yeah, some of the things that are happening. Yeah. Hmm. But I mean, once you see one wrestling match, they all end the same. That's true. I mean, someone gets distracted ringside, and then they hit the referee. Yeah, it's yeah. all the same. It hasn't changed in the five years I've uh, I haven't watched it. I, I'm sure it hasn't changed in the 15 that I. Or, <laughs> no, no, more than 15, no, Jesus, it's been more than five years for me. I take dude, it's back. been like 20 years. I was a 14 year old boy 15 years ago. Yeah, it's been 20 years yeah. since I've watched wrestling. Yeah. Same Holy here. shit. It's just those times, man. Some of those times you sit down and you say something like it's been 20 years and you're like, man, mm-hmm. time is a ticking. Mm-hmm. Look at that. 20 years. That's two decades. I know. That's two 10 years. Yeah, two of them. It's two. You could have a 10-year-old, you watch could. him die, and then have another one. You and could. I'm still, that's still less time than it took me to grow up. Yep. <laughs> you could. I'm not saying <laughs> you should. I'm just saying you could. Could happen. Yeah. Bad things happen, man. I don't know if you know about this. You yeah. watch wrestling, bad things yeah, can happen. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen Ronda Rousey since that night, so now, I'm, I think now anybody I'm getting has. antsy. Now I'm getting antsy. She's playing Samus in that Metroid movie. They haven't announced. I mean... She's probably working on her microphone presence. Do you really need to play as Samus to play as Samus? Because she's going to have the fucking armor on the whole time. Yeah, but you know... You got to have a couple cuts. You got to get the casual audience in with the the blue tights. Uh, And Ronda Rousey does... I think she's quite the attractive woman for a UFC fighter. No, she's a babe. Yeah, for a UFC fighter, definitely. Yeah. Ben, how's how's your place? (laughs) It's getting there. We uh, it's just a lot of work. Don't ever move out into a house. Don't no. Don't I don't plan on don't do well, it. <laughs> at some point I want to. I know, I'm kidding. So you two, you two look all right. Well, Joe does. I'm not sure about your living conditions. Well, the guy he cut us a deal. He was like, look, uh, if you guys want to come in and clean, I'll char- I'll give you like I'll charge you even cheaper. I'm like, all right, let's fucking do it. But now I'm like, I kind of just wish I just paid the extra because there's just so much. And it's like, like we went to Target. Last weekend, oh, spent dude. over three hundred something dollars and just not in, not vid games, no, not a switch, no, no, in fucking bullshit in just, Clorox wipes. It Windex. You know how many, how many fucking Clorox wipes dude, we bought? We I had know. we had to start doing off brand because people started buying them too much. That's yeah. the only thing I was left. Just dumb shit. And it then, sucks. And then yesterday, I we woke up and we were like, I was like, I'm gonna go run to Walmart because we need a new trash can. Because the trash can that they left, of course, it just rotted. So yeah, they yeah, put yeah, trash yeah. in there, it just falls through. Mm-hmm. So I get the Walmart. And as soon as we walk in, I was like, how funny would it be if we walked out with just like handfuls and we had to fill the trash can? Guess what actually happened? We walked yep. out in handfuls and we filled the trash can. Yep. It's like $100 right there. I'm like, That's I thought it. I just spent 300 some dollars at Target. You and did? Like, and the thing is, where's the money come from? Because before you moved out, if someone said to you, you're going to have to spend $1,700 next month. You'd go, fuck you. Dick. you. I don't you have dick. that money. Somehow it, it fucking manifests. From, I don't know where it comes from. I don't know. You don't eat? Is that what it is? Oh, like, no, no, no. We we ate. <laughs> I don't remember any. When we moved in here, no one did anything. It was us and us alone. It was like we told everyone, hey, we're moving next Monday. And they went, yeah, let us know. We'll help. And we went, cool. Woke up that morning. Y'all fucking, nope. Ghosted, dead silence. That's it. That's what I was. Uh, Brooke Maris last yeah. night. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So we moved. Bullshit. We, her and I, moved all of the furniture. I mean, a lot of the shit that you're looking at, like we've added since we've lived here. But all, most of the stuff, all the shit, the two of us, shoved it in the back of a U-Haul. We did it all in one day and got everything in, and then we didn't stop like that whole first week. Just unpack, unpack, unpack. That's what's been going on. And then it's all the shit where you're like. All right, I really we're settled. I just want to make fucking this, and you're like, oh, we don't have one of those, so now I need to go to Target or Walmart and yep. buy the fucking thing. Oh man. Well, that's what we because I was like, yo, I'm getting a trash can, and I'm making tacos tonight. And she was like, dude, don't have cool. taco season. Don't have don't shells, have none don't of that. Have ground Actually, beef. We lucked out because her parents gave us like 
care package upon care package, just dumb shit that we didn't need to buy. I'm like, yep. thank God. Yep. So I was like, how dope would it be if I made cheesy gordita crunches? And she's just like, let's fucking do it. So we go to Walmart and get like, you know, they actually sell the sauce mm-hmm. in, a, in a little bottle. The, ta- the Taco Bell sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Even like the, the gordita crunch sauce, that, that spicy ranch, whatnot. So we, you know, that's what we, we, we feasted last night. It's good stuff. And if you go to the Taco Bell, you bring home a couple extra fire sauce packets, toss them in your fridge. You got it for next time. That's smart. I know. That's I learned smart. that from Ben Barris. Do you really? Heck yeah. Because we used to go to Chick fil A and then you turn around and fill up a bag yeah. with a bunch of ketchup and shit. <laughs> ben, you go to Ben's house. Always got open up a drawer, drawer full of sauce. I forgot about the edge. It's all the sauce. What all kind of sauce, sauce you want? Got it. <laughs> Good. It's in the drawer. Yeah, that's why we did it, Good. man. Yeah. That's why I got up in my fridge. You open my fridge right now? Hella hot mustards from McDonald's. Because hot mustard's the best. And I want it all the What's time. What's a hot mustard? I'm gonna hand you Is one. Is that like that Take stuff you get at the Chinese restaurants? It's a mustard, but yeah, hot. In a way, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. It's but it's got a different yeah. I'll give you one all on right. the way out. You all can right. dip something in Can it. you only get it at Mickey D's? Yep. I mean, so you like might be. They might have it somewhere else, but the Mickey D's. When I'm just the curious one. what it is now. I fucking screamed one night when I was delivering pizzas. I used to slide through McDonald's, grab myself a 20 piece nug to slam while I was driving. What sauce would you like with that, sir? Hot mustard. Sorry, sir. We've discontinued that. What the fuck you? Then have? how do you still have them? Well, they brought it back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt. I was upset. I've been eating hot mustard since I was like a four year old boy. It's a good dipper. Oh, so this has been a thing. Oh yeah. Everybody was like, ah, give me the sweet and sour. Took the barbecue. I said, no. Took the hot must. That's what I say. I just, I just dipped them in ketchup. Well, I was also not a pussy, so I never got chicken nuggets. I always got burgers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you get the burgers, <laughs> but when you are feeling for, when you feel like you want a good nug, something for dipping. No, you just get nugs. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> but these days, now a grown man, right, 20 years later, yeah. I get myself a 10-piece nug. Two bergs, large fry. I don't know how I'm not bigger than I That's am. That's a lot of food. Oh, yeah. You do have one hell of a metabolism. Yeah, it depends on the day, though. Some days it's like, where did that thing come from? I mean, everybody's got that thing. I know, but hot mustard. Yeah, I'm going to have to check it. it out. How did the PC turn out? I. Oh, yeah. I still haven't turned it on. That e-machine. Was it an e-machine? Um, I made it a mistake. Yeah. I thought it was a Hewlett Packard. Right. It's a Packard Bell. Oh, oh. Ooh, watch out. <laughs> Throwback. Yeah. And what color is it? Oh, this, it was white. It was white. Yeah. <laughs> it was. No, it's cigarette it's a good, yellow. Yeah, it's a, it's a good yellow. Whew. I was, because uh, I put it downstairs, because I have like my Sega CD down there and stuff too, so I just have it chilling. And I was like, I just want to plug in real quick to fire it up. And I was like, yeah. where's the mouse? Oh, I got an extra... If you remember in the 90s, the computer mouse, it was like that big that fucking... There, USB wasn't a thing. Nope. Mm-hmm. No such thing. God, I ooh, I forgot about that. So they so don't have a mouse for it? it? No, it's just the keyboard and the computer. I mean, I can still use it because you can just hit tab and that scrolls through everything you can click on the page. Yeah, or you go to Amazon. Or and I already looked it up. How much? It's, the cheapest I found was like 13. 13? Yeah. I could do better than that. Yeah. <laughs> just run by the flea market, you know? Old PC mouse. You have to make sure it's not USB, though. Because an old PC USB. mouse would still be USB. USB. Yeah. That's a PlayStation 2 controller. So I just did, <laughs> I just did like, Windows 95 mouse. Oh, that's means? Yeah. I'm going to try to think if I have something. Ooh, they got a converter. For a USB to yeah. fat plug? What the fuck? Well, it's probably, like, 20 bucks, though. <laughs> Six bucks. All right. Oh, that's not bad. But I don't... Oh, that's for a keep... Wait, What? Well, there was a keyboard proprietary thing, too. And yeah, well, oh, yeah, there's two different things. Man, throw all that shit in the truck. What do you, <laughs> oh, God, did you... You haven't powered it on. I haven't powered it on. All right. It's still there, though. You're going to need a keyboard, yeah. too, don't you? No, no, the key... It, it uh, already came with the okay. keyboard. It just didn't come with the mouse. Yeah. Did you want to get the iSpy Funhouse Edition? Or Dog. the mouse that's painted with flames? Did Those iSpy PC games on Windows 95? They were legit, fun. dude. Yeah, they, were they were legit. Good. Fucking dope. Get some pajama Sam while you're at it. Oh fuck yeah, yeah man! Fish. All the humongous, humongous entertainment games, man. They were my jam. Yeah, we were uh, we were actually unpacking, uh, yesterday, and I was putting like, cause in my little office area I have like a shelf of all you know just computer games and whatnot, and she just hands me this box and she's like, you can put these in your room, and it's like her Warcraft. Ooh, chest and whatnot, chest. Yeah. yeah, dude. Do you know how many fucking discs that came with? Too many. 
It, too yeah, many fucking that, discs. That shit was all... There was like a disc for each, every like section of World of Warcraft back yep. in the day. You had to like fucking download. So many discs. Mm -mm. Jesus Christ. Mm -mm. Same with Diablo 2. You know what else she has? Hmm. You ever hear that game Neverhood? I've heard of it. It was the I'm thinking that game Armacrog that came out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, the yeah. game that came out before that in the 90s. Claymation. She, she got that. Doug OG. Tenaple? Is that the guy's name? I think. Doug Tenaple? Uh, Maybe. Earthworm I know Gym the game. Man. I don't, I'm not going to I don't know. Names. I can't remember. Armacrog was that dude. Well, yeah, it's probably the same dude then. Yeah. But yeah, Neverhood, it was, it was a point and click 90s game, Claymation. The shit. Hard as nails, but it was the shit. Well, every game back then yeah. was. Truth. Hard as Truth. shit. The Jamis Sam was hard as shit uh, at some point. Yeah, all those <laughs> yeah, all those kid point and click games, man, they were still difficult. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, they were fun, though. You uh, you mentioned something about your personal computer as well. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, you told me. So, I was uh, just between moving and whatnot, like, well, I wanted to take a break. I, like... Throughout the past two weeks, I've just taken little spurts of game playing. Like, I'll hop on, and I'll play for, like, maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then get back up and mop Impact. or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I took my uh, my PC out of the box, because I just... It's a big fucking computer, so I just put it in this big box, PC. slam it down, plug it in and everything, and I'm, and I'm on it. And I was on that uh, archive site that I put in the text that has all the old DOS games yeah, on it. Yeah, archive.org? Yeah, Star something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... It was having trouble running those games. I'm like, motherfucker, I have a 1070? <laughs> <laughs> so, restarted my computer, and then, like, for, I smell this burning oh, shit. scent. Like, straight fire. Hmm. Not like, oh, it smells like burnt. No, it's fire. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, could be fun. a heat. You know, we just turned on the water heater. Yeah, things whatever. Are, yeah, new place, new environment. Yeah. Still, I restarted the computer, and it's still, but I hear this, like, every now and then I hear, like, a. And like a minute will go by another, and, and I'm like, what? Click? what is that? No, I don't know what the fan? fuck it was. Just fuck your fan up. So, I was like, Faith needed. Uh, we were, she wanted me to set. Oh, we got the Amazon Fire Stick or whatever mm -hmm. in the TV. So she wanted me to go set it up. So I had my computer running, and I just wanted to go set it up. I come back and it's off. I'm like, huh, that's weird. I set it off. <laughs> so I turned it back on. Still same thing. So I'm like, all right, so, something's up here, and I, and it and it, it smells like fire. So my tower has like the glass panel so you yeah, just look yeah, right yeah. inside of it just from moving i guess one of the cables from another thing got jammed between the fan for my processor and that's what was burning up like so and it was like i even fire, saw like click, click, your fucking processor my processor burning? my yeah. processor yeah, dude so if i let that run for like another two minutes my computer would have just been toast Ooh, without a doubt shit yeah dude yeah do you ever clock your computer at all no oh uh, all right well you have the, the stock stuff on it i guess i don't even know like, but I just, it, it just from moving, I, mean, well, I even, guess, you know? Yeah, I mean, even just using the computer, yeah. if, if your stock fan is not working. Yeah, and that's what that yeah. burning smoke, because I opened it up, and it was just, it was, like, I could feel the heat. Ooh, cool. like, Christ. Dude, can't ignore good cooling. I know. But no, what it was, just from moving, I guess one of the cables just from another plug jostled. just, yeah, just got loose. Did you build this yourself? My cousin did, because I bought it from him. Yeah, this was, I, he didn't go to, like, Micro Center and buy a computer or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> See, I was MS computer list. That would have been real bad. Not good. Not good. Because processors hardwired to your motherboard, right? You need a whole new motherboard. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah it's, you would have melted the processor yeah. onto the motherboard and needed two new things. Probably a third of the family. Might as well buy a new computer. Or a right? whole thing if the whole thing had gone up in flames. Yeah, or a new <laughs> house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's cheap. Yeah. yeah. Who cares? But yeah, that was my. Hot Christmas. Yeah. That's when I was texting you. And you it was funny because yeah. you were texting me about the other computer. I was like, oh, I'm just burnt mine, though. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got a backup. You yeah. know, so <laughs> something to look forward to. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, would you get uh, did you get in any video games? I actually across did. The move? Like yeah. I said, I was I had my little, like, jumps I was playing. Um, yeah. I don't know why. I was in the mood to play Axiom Verge. I don't know why either. I don't know. I really don't know. Because I, I played it, I think, during one of the Steam sales a couple years ago. Yeah. And I played it for like 10 or 15 minutes. I'm like, I don't feel like playing this. I, and that's probably going to be feeling. But I don't know. Like, I, I was playing it again. And I'm like, it's not bad. No, it's it's a really it's good bad. game. I just hit a wall with it. Are you at the wall? D d I'm maybe like 30 minutes in. All right. I want to know if you get past the wall. Okay. I hit a point where, I don't know. It's a, I don't know what it was. Did you play that at all? 
No, I I never was interested in it because it was an homage to games I had never played before, and I figured I should play the other games first. That makes sense. I don't like it's like an homage to those kind of games, but <clears throat> I wish it was more of the uh, the Super Nintendo graphics route, not so much the NES. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that is ugly. It's it's a little rough. I don't like it. Places. it yeah, I it's... I mean, like the entire. Everything behind the game, I'm in love with. Yeah. Single developer, working, you know. Yeah, it's just fucking one dude. Just moonlighting one dude. to make yeah. it over eight years. It's incredible. He did every music, art, per everything. Incredible. Mm-hmm. And it feels good to play. It feels like a good Metroidvania. I, I just like, I didn't really care for that the main color character. color palette. Color just, palette was kind of off. Isn't it a very dark game? It is a very dark. Well, I mean, but everything's good, black though. and purple. And it's, and it's but <laughs> repetitive back, yeah. And that's it. what it was. It was just like I hit a point where I felt like I didn't know where I was anymore, and that I didn't know where to go next. That was the main complaint I heard about. It's that not game. really much of a scenery change. Yeah, it was just like you know, you play. Obviously, Super Metroid's like the, the the one for this, right? But like, you know, when you're in each area, you know when you're in yeah different parts of the map. This one, you're like. Am I in the right spot? I don't know. And that's like a that's a bad thing to do in a Metroidvania. Yeah. It's a Castlevania and Symphony of the Night. Like you very clearly know yeah. through the music, through the Yeah, because obviously there's music too. You know where Even you enemies. Are. Types, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um this it and it may have had that and I just didn't give it the time to like fully realize it. I just I don't know. The weapons are fucking dope though. Yeah. Weapons are real cool. You're early on, you probably haven't gotten any I got the one extra one when it's like you shoot and then if you hit the button again it like it yeah. blows up in like separate balls. Yeah, yeah, or you can like time it. Yeah, and, yeah, that yeah. was cool. That one gets you through some different areas. Mm-hmm. I want to go back to that game. When it dropped on Switch, I almost jumped in again. But that's right, it's on the Switch. I've been playing it on PC. Yeah, just but Xbox controller plugged in. So. Yeah, I mean it's it's good. I don't know. See if I get much farther into it. It's not. I in. hope you do. I I remember when this game was announced. It was one of those like I'm buying this day one and I'm gonna sit through and play it in one sitting kind of thing. But it yeah, just yeah, it yeah. just didn't click. So. I, I don't know. Maybe it just it wasn't the right time to play it. So hopefully it is now. Um, I snuck in some New Vegas time. Um, just I don't know. I'm kind of at the point. Once I'm done this DLC, I just want to finish it. Yeah. So I don't want to have to keep jumping back to it every like couple weeks. You know what I mean? Um, I get that. Like I'm about to hit level forty. Maybe once I hit level fifty, I'll do the main quest and then call it a day. You What's know, level cap in that game. Fifty. Mm-hmm. Well, if you get the DL, if you get all the DLC, because each DLC. It boosts it by five levels. So originally, like, just New Vegas alone, I think the level cap's 30. 30. Okay. Yeah. Then each DLC, see it's like another five. That sounds right. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's still a fun game. I can see why everybody says it's their favorite Fallout out of the ones I've played so far, you know? Um, so I sent a picture message yesterday in the chat. Mm. Uh, me and Faith, we were sitting there. And uh, we were talking, well, I just had my Wii U tablet out, and uh, I was on the virtual console store. I'm nodding I'm, yes. I'm keeping my mouth shut. And Matt started okay, to okay, go okay. no. But I... It's not It's not the best console, but I fucking love the Wii U. Yeah, dude, me too. And I'm not it's trying to... It's all right. <laughs> I, I, I love it for what it is. I you, Ben. I love it's it for fine. what it is. But I'll tell you what, though. That virtual console, that's it's severely lackluster. I don't know. Was I, was I missing something? Was there a bunch of games on there and then just got removed? Because when I think virtual console, I'm thinking Wii when you went on the virtual console store and you just went page upon page upon page on just the, the Sega Genesis pages alone. So, yeah, Genesis you know I mean? alone. I'm going to look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. We did this recently, I, f- I feel like. We looked at side-by-side side number of games yeah. released on each, but I don't remember. I'm going to look it up. But um, So me and her were just looking, and uh, I went to the N64 one, and there was like, what, six games on there maybe? So it's... It sucks. So Donkey Kong pops up, and she's like, "Wait, is that like Donkey Kong sixty four yellow cartridge?" I'm like, "Yeah." And she was like, "She took ten dollars out of her purse, put it in my wallet, and she was like, buy it now.'" I'm like, "All right, yep. all right." Yep. And I don't know why, man. I was I was playing the fuck out of that last night, dude. I think I have a click for it now because I hated it back in the day. I mean, yeah, I was like, this game sucks. It's like Banjo Kazooie, which also sucked, so I didn't like it. <laughs> so. But no, it's no. It, I don't know. Like maybe, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna come next week. I'm gonna be like Donkey Kong 64 is the best N64. It's just fun to play. Uh, I don't know. Thoughts on Mario 64? No, no. Mario 64 okay. is my favorite. Right. It's probably right. one of my favorite games of all time. When you start getting stuck in that collectathon, 
It, See, that's why I'm. Uh, I know. Yeah. When I was a kid, I loved that game and I collected them all. But like trying to go back to it, I'm like, fuck, this is rough. <sighs> there are there are 311 games in total for the Wii U Virtual Console. Uh, NES, Super NES, Nintendo 64, Turbo Graphics 16, PC Engine, uh, GBA, and DS. 64. There are 21 games released. Damn. Okay, maybe it's like three pages then. But yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not. It's still like, it's only like six that you'd actually want to yeah. play. Might be twenty-one released, but there's not many you want to play. That's for Wii U. For Wii, there are three hundred ninety-eight total. Yeah. No way. But it were it was split up across Commodore sixty-four. Damn, man, Commodore 64 games? Only certain. Uh, Commodore 64, NES, Master System, TurboGrafx-16, PC Engine, Mega Drive, or Genesis, uh, Super NES, Neo Geo, N64, and then Virtual Console Arcade. Okay, so maybe I'm just more upset at the variety of consoles then. Because that's what it sounds like. Because the Wii, yeah. it sounds like it had them all. Yeah, it had... Oh, pretty much the, yeah, the wii u that. added i think it's dope because the wii u added um Game Boy Advance. gba and ds i guess well you could always just fire up wii on wii u right and just go to the virtual console through there so i guess that's that you can but sense. only for a limited time still so really? if you want to do that you need to fire up the wii now you need to buy the wii points cards you can buy them digitally you don't need to go buy them okay buy them in a store um and the cutoff for buying those games, you can't buy points after March 26th or something like that. Damn. And you won't be able to spend those points in the virtual console past January 19th of next year. Why do I know all these weird-ass numbers in my head? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Damn. That sucks. Yeah. I So that's I'm going to like kind of go through and see which ones I'm going to play. Also, the emulation is better on there. The emulation on the Wii U... It's all like dark and washed out and shitty and I didn't really notice. Well, I noticed the uh it's the only other virtual console game I have on Wii U is uh Mario 64 DS. Go back and look at the uh the 64 stream I did. Cuz remember you watched that stream I did. Yeah. And you're like, "What are you where are you playing this?" Cuz it was fucking Wii U and it was like dark and washed. I just, think I do remember asking it about looks, that. Honestly, it looks like they and they did it to to combat uh, complaints of seizures, I think is what it mm. was. Um, but the way that they emulated, it makes it look like they got the video and then they took an overlay, a black overlay, reduced the opacity to like 30% and then popped it over top. Huh. It's like, I didn't notice. It's Because I did notice Donkey Kong 64, it's not widescreen. So you have the. I think the you square. can change that. When you boot into a game, if you hold select. You, you can, can you can change that. I remember doing that for. Um, yeah. Oh really? Aria. What does it do? Just stretch it? Yeah. It stretches it and. Ah, it doesn't look great. It's, it's, I mean, I don't mind the, the black. I mean, the black boxes on my sound. I don't give a fuck. I was just. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, know that, but. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's all I played. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Not I'm bad. getting there. I'm getting there. Yeah, baby steps. I want to know what happens with Axiom Verge. I wonder what happens to your computer. Oh, yeah, yeah right. by next week, I'll have a lot more information on both. Which computer? <laughs> the one that might catch on fire. Oh. That might here. burn down the new house you just bought. <laughs> I guess. Uh, Matt, what'd you get into uh, in the seven weeks you've been going? Oh, wait, <laughs> we don't have enough time to get into everything. <laughs> of course. Uh, the one thing I do want to bring up that I didn't really play this week Dragon Ball. Oh, I yeah. did play Fighters. Dragon Ball, too. I just wanted to wait. Fighters, yeah. Fighter Z. Just Fighters. Fight, yeah. All right. Verdict. It has more characters from Super than it does anything else. So the verdict um, is still yet to be decided. Um, yeah. Oh, um, uh, fight. No, I'm talking about the fighters. The title. Oh, I think <laughs> about the quality of the game. No, no, uh, no. This game's a lot of fun. It's a fighting game that I actually want to play. There you go. Weird. Uh, I did the auto combo stuff is a great beginner's tool, and then that makes me uh, it makes me want to go the next step. I'm like, oh, I How know I? there's a little bit more to this because I'm. I'm literally hanging in the air seeing half my health go away on an online ranked match. So my auto combo is not doing that. So there's got to be something else. Um, 
so yeah, I've been I extensively went through the tutorials just to then find out I was gonna go through the same tutorials in the story mode. Yeah, so, so dumb that I still am not through the tutorials in the story mode. It's uh, I yeah, I, I, but I uh, I've been going through the combo trainer with a couple characters. Obviously, Vegeta is gonna be my main, even if I'm suck with him. SSGSS. I don't have the SSGSS unlocked because I didn't pre-order it, and I am not that good at the game to get an s rank in the in the uh arcade. isn't that what you need the s rank in the arcade s rank in arcade and not the first one it's the ones with the five or seven yeah, yeah. i'm getting close i got an a's but i can't get the s yeah yeah but yeah um i like that it gives you something to work toward mm-hmm. i appreciate that but yeah um no I, I do like that game that game's so pretty to look at um and for like from afar when i was watching the closed betas online it looked so hectic that i didn't know i didn't think i was going to know what was going on on the screen at a given time yeah. but even as i see the combos being done to me uh, as i lose half my health i'm kind of starting to get mad but at the same time i kind of can sit back and say hey i at least i know what's going on on the screen as i get my ass kicked <laughs> uh you know throughout this ranked match it's the important then, stuff yeah uh yeah it's a simple game but there's so much to learn though there is yeah. you know yeah. one you know, it, a lot of it's uh, your roster building, like what three you're going to bring in, how to use the assist, on top of knowing each character's combos and when to time the assist, and even bringing in other characters at the right time. Like, yeah, it's there's a whole level of depth there. Um, but it's approachable. Like we played it Friday Night Pizza Party the other night, and I Akko still won so all yeah, I guess of Akko them. Won, yeah, he yeah. won all of them. But somebody who got really close, you, I hung with them. Mar- yeah, like somebody almost to you. Yeah, yeah, I hung with them. Almost got him out. Um, I knocked out a character of his. I was, I think. Nice. I think. I, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I knocked out one character. Nice. Victory. Nice. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. No, that game. That game's really good. Um, I'm gonna keep playing that. I just didn't play much this week. Uh, yeah. You playing on a PS4, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you have a fight stick or a controller or anything? I use a controller, and I have an identity crisis of whether I want to use the D pad or the joystick. So mm. how would I'm just curious because how would you feel if none of those worked? Because that's still where I'm going on PC. Still doesn't work. <laughs> Fight stick still does not work. I still got to download that shitty third-party software. God. Still doesn't work. PC gaming. There is a lot of... <laughs> There's like... a lot of behind-the-scenes issues with that game. <laughs> like, booting the game up to be like, the server's full. That was, so just okay. automatically you put me to the next one. That's I what know. happened to me. That's what happened to me. I was like, what is this? What it is continues this? to happen. And then, like, they patched it. And I loaded the game, and it jumped me right into a server. And I was like, oh, good. They fixed that shitty problem. And then it immediately threw me out of it and was like, pick a different one. And I was like, you pick a different <laughs> yeah. one, motherfucker. This, this is me. I just pick up the controller, hold, holding down, close my eyes for five seconds, then hit X. <laughs> just fucking so I'm in do some, it. I'm in some ring-only thing. but like, I don't And what if you're care. offline? Can you not play it? Uh, I've never been offline. I thought it was an online-only thing. But that's where I'm at. Like, if, if the three – Three of you. There's two of you. One of me. Three of us sit down and we want to play it, and a fucking tree falls outside. Well, I wouldn't be able to test that. So I know, but like, are we are we fucked? I don't know. I never tried offline mode. If there is an offline mode, I don't even think there is. Because mm-hmm. like you, you're in the main menu and then it loads into the server. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I've never had it that. fail, so I don't I, know. I hate that's just just games in general. You load into the start screen. And then you hit start and you fucking load again. Yeah, what the fuck? It points to start load screen. the first time. Just did, did, what's the point of the fucking start screen? Give me the care. fucking PUBG HTML5 <laughs> main menu. That's yes. what I need. Come yes. on, man. Bad. Real God. bad. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, but that's that's just a pet peeve of any game. I think there's, all the EA Sports games do that, too. It pisses mm. me off. I think they're still just overwhelmed because I guess they weren't expecting half of the United States to jump on at the same time. On they Dragon had to be, man. Everybody was... There's Everybody was tweeting about that. You know? A lot of they buzz were. in that game. Yeah, I don't know. A lot more than another game that we'll get to later. Did you play uh, anything <laughs> that you didn't have to load? Uh, That's so, a terrible segue. Everything loads. Yeah, everything does load. Uh, another game that, exactly what I just said like 30 seconds ago, another game that you hit the start button to then load again, NHL 18. Why? Uh, <laughs> are you saying why does he have to load? Twice? No, I like, know why it has to load. Why, am why I are playing you playing it? it? I don't know. I don't know. It's... It's that this that game it's that thing where I know a game is bad but I can't step away from it. Sorry, right, that's my life right there, man. I, <laughs> I played so many shitty games so long. 
I got you, man. Yeah, because wait, I, the last episode you were talking about all the stuff you had wrong with it, right? Oh, yeah. There's still plenty of shit wrong with it. There's abs- That game is absolutely not right. fun to play. However, I'm playing it. Uh, no, I've, I've, for the first time in probably like a year and a half, I started playing one-on-one again. Hmm. And, um... I'm still good at the game. That's good. There's that. I'm 22 and three. Well, I guess it wouldn't ha- it wouldn't matter because if you were good last year, you're still good this year because nothing fucking. That's changed. true, but I didn't play one on one last year much. Right. I always did the uh, the six on six mo thing. You say you were 22 and three? 22 and three. I'm in the top 4,000 PS4 players already. Dude, that's fucking dope. Blaze it. I'm good at the like not to toot my horn. Top I'm how good many? At top 4,000. At least up this many? morning, I might have been knocked out because I was. I don't know. It could be only like. 10,000, no. but yeah. Still. Yeah, I'm 22 and 3. I'm good at those games. That's I've, awesome. That's like the one game where, like, Aka has his fighting games. You, I don't know. Who the fuck know. knows? Splatoon. Whatever. Yeah, Splatoon. I've been on a fucking cold streak with that game. I'm real upset about that. Hey, man. You saw the other night. I was like, here we go. Let's do it. Every fucking night I said, I love that goddamn game, but. Every, it's just been bad. It's been real cold. Everybody, real cold. It's just down period, man. Well, that's, that's the thing. All. It's not even always me. I'm just getting the wrong pairings. Mm. You know? Blame the had, other team. Got it. It's You know, blame your own team. God. There are times <laughs> where I like... I know what you mean. You look and there's a guy who's just standing at the spawn point, holding mm-hmm. his dick. You got somebody else who's splatting at walls. And you're like, dude, the walls don't count. Not in this <laughs> mode. Come on. Gotta collect the clams. Yeah, Make a football. Bad. Throw it into the, the basket. That's right. how you do it. No, even in turf war, like motherfuckers just can't get it together. Yeah, man, I feel like there's a fucking way to tell someone that. Oh, God. Um, anyway. Why don't you download the app? You and can't then just do sign it. In. That's not how it works. Even if I, I know, download it's still the app. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I. That's the one you're good at. I don't know. I I just got an itch to play, and I've been playing it, and I tried to take the the man approach to what I did a couple. Couple, well, no, like in December. Yeah, yeah. Remember, I was saying like I'm, I know I'm like not great at the game. I just kind of want to play someone online, and whatever happens, happens. I'm trying to take that same approach, but man, then then the shit starts hitting the fan. I can't break out of my own zone. Not mm-hmm. my fault. This the players don't go where they're supposed to go. I can't play offense because the players don't know where they're supposed to go. And then the defensive AI in this game is total garbage. Yeah, it's garbage. It's terrible. It's just awful and i have in in it's bad when a game makes you play a way to win and you're not playing the way you want to to win hmm. when you know what's right and what should work yeah well yeah. like there's multiple strategies in hockey of course like i play a much right, slower right. game but the game makes me play more of a rush offensive heavy game yeah and that's not it's not how i want to play i want to suffocate my opponent and win 2-1 i don't want to win seven to five i do there's been times where I'm like, because then the other thing is I don't like scoring the cheap goals. I know we're all, I know the goalie AI because that's not great, of course. I know all the spots in the ice where if I trick, like I just do the right movement, it's going to go in if I have a decent shooter. I don't like doing that, but as soon as I see my opponent start doing that, I'm like, all right, well, I know how to do it better than you. So I'm just going to start fucking line up the scoreboard. I don't feel bad anymore. Is there a competition in this game at all? I was just like, about to ask yeah. that. Like a, like a, like like anything. Cl- like I know it might not even be. I know it's not going to be officially licensed NHL. Oh, oh. But like, is there any like a the mobile, Stanley E Cup, a mobile game from Two K? Really? Damn. Is there isn't there one on Switch? A dumb hockey game. I don't doubt it. it. Oh, there's a there's RBI baseball. They have a baseball competitor. Yeah, well, not the NHL. license for MLB is out there. It's just no one is yeah, taking yeah. reins of it. I thought PS4. No, that's well, they're the, the only show. Ones they're the ones that make it. Yeah, okay. anybody can make they it. They don't have the license really locked up. Like other developers can. It's not like it. NFL locked to EA or. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I always thought about that because you only really see big baseball games on PS4. Yeah, maybe even San... PS3 even. Well, yeah, San well, Diego. The San Diego just studio that makes the show, and they're a first-party studio to Sony. Damn. Yep. So they like unintentionally got into that. Huh. Yeah. That's interesting. But then what's the other one? There's uh, Ken Griffey Jr. That's the one. No, yeah. there's another sport. What's the other sport? Oh, basketball. Like EA finally stepped in and did the live again for whatever reason. But Garbage. like that's been locked to 2K for a little while just because no one else felt like making. Yeah. It. But yeah, I, yeah, someone should make a good hockey game. I would love that. 
I would love a 2K. Because I always thought the 2K games were better back in the day anyway. So, Do you remember when, like, maybe even on PS2 era, but, like, the N64 era, there was, like, a bunch of different sports games? But, like, yeah. for, like there was a bunch of different hockey games on N64, a bunch of different football games and whatnot. Yeah, you had Breakaway yeah. and NHL and... You had, like, Wayne Gretzky's 3D Wait, hockey right, or right, something. Right. You, had, yeah, like, you know what I mean? There's always something, something different. And then they did all the weird ones, like... You had... You had seven different baseball... All, they're all named different, different baseball players. Yeah. Some of them are just the exact same game, same engine, just reskinned with a different fucking baseball player. But then you had, like, Slugfest, and you had specific... Mark McGuire's Home Run Challenge. Yeah. All the dumb shit. Yeah, they don't make them like that anymore. Mm-hmm. Well... I think a lot of those were midway, and you know, we know what happened to them. So maybe that wasn't the best maybe idea. Maybe Team Nordic will make a midway studio. Oh god, <laughs> I don't need. They that. like bringing all the shit back to the little ones. <laughs> I don't know. I I need the fucking. I need the uh, the Street series to come back. I didn't fuck with those. Dude, I remember those. NBA Street was so good. NFL Street was really good mm-hmm. too. But NBA FIFA Street wasn't bad. I didn't try that one. Could you run on walls? Uh, you could run on walls in NFL. It, that's pretty cool. Nah, it wasn't until the second one I thought. Either way, you could. Yeah, the first. Yeah, I think I only played the one iteration of FIFA Street. Was it on PS2? PS2. Yeah, some Mirror's Edge shit. That's wild. That was cool. Oh God, I always loved doing Dude, pickup games in NFL. Street. Yeah, that was the Dude, best. backflips over the fucking goalposts. Mm-hmm. Those were good times. It. Oh yeah. Michael Vick and Ricky Williams are the only two players you need it. That's true. Yep. <laughs> What else you get into? I uh, we have a video of it, so it's real. It's tangible now for me. My girlfriend got me uh, SNES Classic. How'd that go? It's pretty good. I like it yeah. a lot. Uh, yeah, the video's up. We did uh, we did a random smattering of smatters. Yeah, we didn't touch everything, but yeah, we yeah. went into the stuff. Um, I've determined that I don't like Super Mario World Two, <laughs> Yoshi's Island. Yeah, sorry. Hey, you were talking about that. Yeah, Tyler was very. I upset. think it was. It was just a very different game. Because remember, I just beat Super Mario World. Which, by the way, I beat Super Mario World, guys. In the short time I've had the thing. Um, Did you eat like 100%? Secret Island? I just wanted to clear the main seven castles and then Bowser, and I did that. It's fun. Now he's going back to speedrun. Yeah, I'm trying to... You did say that, too. I'm trying to get better at that game. A lot better. Um, But yeah, so I, I just beat it. See the credits roll. I'm like... I never really touched Super Mario 2. Let me go let me go check that out. And it was what it was. I was like, oh, this is not. It runs though, right? Oh, the, yeah. It's it's fine to play as. Uh, which tells like, us that Nintendo knows how to emulate that. Yeah. Which tells us that there's no reason it shouldn't have been on Virtual Console in the last yeah. 10 years. Yeah. But. uh. Fuck you doing, dude. But yeah, I've touched some other stuff. Um, I keep going in and out. Uh, Super Punch Out a little bit. Uh, hmm. Been playing a little bit Castlevania 4 on it as well. Uh, I've touched some other things very minorly. Like I think I even I think I loaded like one game of Contra and I got my ass kicked. And I was like, ah, that's our Contra is still the same. You know uh, what we're waiting on, right? <laughs> what? What? We're waiting. Oh, so yeah. Um, yeah, you guys didn't play it on the we did on the video. He wouldn't let us. Yeah, cause um, I'm I'm no, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. Gonna or you already started? I, I'm gonna. I you didn't have start it. Yet. Damn it! You know, no, 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 no. Play it when you want to play it. No, that's don't don't play it because we're telling you to play it when you feel like it. So here's the thing. All right, so uh, I don't and know if they the, heard me. Add I, the nest. The game your... we're talking about is Earthbound, obviously. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, of course. Uh, no, I'm gonna play that game by the end of the year. I'd like well, like not just play it, but beat it by the end of the year. Yes. Um, I want to do start it Monday night. But then I realized the thing's not a virtual console. I can't take it out of my dock. I can't sit in bed and watch Monday Night Raw Mm-mm. while playing Earthbound. Sure can't. So, Son of a bitch. So, yeah. yeah. And hopped on my computer instead. Yeah. As it happens. But, yeah, the thing is a lot of fun. I'm going to – I, I um, have it unplugged right now because I never plugged it back in from when I brought it over. But uh, I'm going to plug that back in soon. Start up. Earthbound. Also, as I said in the video, I'm going to dive into Final Fantasy 3 yeah. a little bit. Uh, and I think from there, I'm going to see which one yeah, does have three. grabs yeah. me a little bit or more. Six. six, yeah. Yeah. I did the same thing. I Yeah, I kept forgetting that three is actually six and six is three. Yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm going to start both of them, give them some time, and then whichever one I think grabs me, just because there's no way in the world I'm going to be able to play two RPGs at the same time. There's not the time. I mean, someone with the time can't play them both <laughs> at the same time, because the combat systems are so different, and yeah, just no. So yeah, um, that's, that's my game plan, and then from there I'm just going to kind of pick one and go with it until completion. I won't ever 100% any of these games, but I'll at least see a final boss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. Yep. So, um, but then that night, I told you, I wish I, man, I had that switch so that way I can, you know, virtual console it. Instead, I go to my computer and, um, really, I've played a couple things on, on my computer, like Rainbow Six and Player Unknowns, but the main nice. thing is that, is that goddamn MOBA they call Dota 2. What's that? Ben, <laughs> that game is dope. <laughs> you still have it installed? Dope. Yeah, Oof. it's still on there. It's Oof. free, man. It's like, why not? I got four trillion gigabytes. I'm sure a gigabyte won't hurt. We'll make sure they didn't catch on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> make sure my processor doesn't burn to the ground. Hopefully, the, nothing was harmed except for the little part of your hard drive. No, I've, I've run it since then. It's it's fine. I, so I, I know, stopped but hope, it. But have you run Dota? Because hopefully it no. burned just a little part <laughs> on the hard drive that holds Dota. And when you try and erase it, it won't erase it because it's all corrupted now. Yeah, I never tried running Dota. You would know and if you try to reinstall it, then the operating system says, this is already installed. And you're like, yeah, but it won't run. But like, it's just that one, everything else is fine. Just you can't play or uninstall or reinstall or anything with Dota. That'd be huh? That'd be a future. I, I, have, I have bad news for you. Ben, have you launched like Steam since then? And, yeah. Like, and have had it all up and running? Yeah, and I was Dota's playing New Vegas. Installed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, he would know because the Dota, up, uh, the Dota client updates just about every day. Jesus so Christ. if it... Why? I think it's just oh, the right, client. Oh, right. They're back. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just the client. It's not the actual game. Yeah. So uh, he would have known. I'm sure he would have gotten some error message by now if that was the case. <laughs> Hmm. So are you a world champion yet? I'm not getting there, you know, one hour at a time. Uh, you get any cool skins yet? No, but you I've get been skins playing or you get some... what's, what's the currency in that game? You can do skins, there's hats, there's there's all kinds of different right. shit. I don't yeah. know, I, I earn stuff as I keep playing. Like, yeah. every once in a while, you earn a, a skin. Um, let me tell you what, I'm not a toxic player. I what's keep getting commends. Tox- I, like, I'm not a negative player. Like, or, like, I'm not... a a person that people report me. Got it, got it, got yeah. it. I keep getting commends at the end of games now, which wasn't happening before. That tells me, one, I'm not an asshole. Two, Two I might not, I might be holding my own now. That's pretty good. So, That's awesome. uh, Something, so, yeah. Because uh, after, I think, every five to ten matches somewhere in there, you get, like, a report back on yourself. And I right. keep, I'm seeing, like, more commends now. Mm. Uh, I don't have any reports. Yeah, not half bad. Pretty good. Yeah. Who are you running with? I've been I've been all over the place. Um, recently, I've been doing the the one mode exclusively where um, it's called single draft. It's of the whole roster, you're given three to choose from, and then you pick one. And the, the you know the nine other players that have um, their own three, your their own unique three. Oh, okay. And then you build a team that way. So mm-hmm. um, I've been doing that to be forced to play some other characters, and uh, yeah, I've been I've been doing that just to get a gist of who I like, who I don't like. Even if I don't like the person, at least I get their move set, so I know what to expect in like a team fight when they start to happen yeah, that makes in other sense. games. Um, there's just a lot of learning. I go into every match just trying to learn something new. And damn it, do I keep my phone next to me? Um, so you can bing the character art? No, yeah, not bing the character art, but if someone's like, hey, you're... Why don't you have... I'll give you an example. Hey, you should have a BKB by now. What's, what's going on? Someone, right. someone literally messaged that to me. I was like, oh, that's something I don't know. What... So, of course, Wait I died. <laughs> so, of course, I died. I have, you know, in Dota, especially in, at the 45-minute mark, you have, like, a two-minute wait time to get back into the game. So, you wrote back, hold on, got to bing it. <laughs> no, I didn't write back. I just acted like I knew what, I was, what was going on. I was like, oh, yeah, dot, dot, dot. I, sh- I forgot. I don't know, just some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I, then I Googled Dota 2 BKB. It's a black king bar. What what it does, it's a fucking shield you activate that lasts for about, like, five to ten seconds, and it gives you 100% magic resistance. So you pop that in the team fight, no one's fucking magic. And that's exclusive to that character you're playing? Or is no, that that's item? like a, uni- a universal item. Oh, okay. And then if now I'm catching myself because I'm in deep in this game again. Why didn't this guy play it? 
why didn't this guy use it? If well, he... he was, but each character, it's for your character only. You don't give the team the ability. Oh, I thought it was a team buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, I'm in deep at this game, because I don't watch the tournaments again. And then, like, the one night I went to hop into it, but I saw Team Liquid was playing in their watch tab, and I was like, oh, shit. All right, here we go. Get the yeah. popcorn and the beer ready. Team Liquid's the one. Gotta watch uh, Matumba Man. Oh, my God. So, I, now that I know that, I realized... The streamers say it all the time. Oh, he popped. After yelling, blah, blah, blah. And I hear all of a sudden, I hear, he popped his PKB. I'm like, oh. Mm. I'm like, oh my God. Oh, it's know. been there the entire time. And now, now I know. Now I know. Black Knight Bar. Sure. <clears throat> right. Wait, is it Black King Bar? I thought it was Black King Bar. Oh, Black King Bar. I don't Got know, it. Now just refer to it as PKB. <laughs> yeah. PKB? Yeah, now you know. Who cares? Uh, I have a lot of eyelashes falling out tonight. You do. You're making a lot of wishes and blowing them. I hope you oh, are. Oh, that's an Oswald hair, actually. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Make a wish on that. BKB. <laughs> yeah, but um, <laughs> nah. I just every I do Turbo Dota as well, uh, cause there's there's quick games. I you like did a that. fifteen minute match before this. You said I did a fifteen minute match. Uh, it gave me enough time to take a little mini nap before I came over Jesus. here. Found maybe a new character as well. You know, you it was like a Doran sniper and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. a couple others. Razor. Razor. Should should give that I don't even, I don't even say it. You should give that a bing. It's a cool character model. He's cool, like please. this blue like. Is it razor spelled like the thing that you? Use? Yeah, A R A R. Sorry, R A Z O R. Uh, he looks all right. He's got some electric flowing through him. His weapon's an electric fucking whip. Huh. He that sounds like pretty a, badass. He looks like a Dark Souls villain. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That was the guy I was rolling with in the fifteen minute match. And we beat ass in the bottom lane, the uh, in the dire off lane. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I keep typing Razor like the fucking computers. Computer. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Sports. Yep. See that new Team Liquid ad for? Uh... Anyway. Nope. Dude, Razor looks fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking electric electric whip. He also has this move that's um, an AOE move where he lost it launches a pulse lightning attack that goes out and retracts but the catch is it like the lightning thing goes only so far however if you make contact with the an opponent player and they're farther away from you is that towards the end of that radius they actually get inflicted more damage so there's a sweet spot you want to be where it hits them twice you know once on the way out and once on the way back with for maximum damage Damn. so there's a level of strategy to them instead of just popping out whenever Ain't bad. Dota 2, man. Just learning something new every time. Have you been streaming it yet? No. I, I, Building your Twitch audience? No, no, not yet. Getting free e-coin? Not yet. That won't be until I get a tower. Oh, like a PC Yeah, tower. like it's not anytime soon. Oh, I see. This I see. guy, I mean, I love him. You can do it. You can stream right from Steam. I love him, but I want my 120 frames, not 90. Oh, I see, I see. Or I 60 see. frames or whatever I'm playing. I so, understand. Yeah. I love her. I love her to death. But the background recording stuff, the all the stuff that you're kind of got used to in PS4 running the background is not there anymore. So son of a bitch. When a cool thing happens, Rainbow Six can't hit the fucking share button anymore. It's all right. Eh. That's cool. Yeah. Just buy a video card. Like an external one. You heard they're pretty uh, cheap now. You can do that now with high yeah, Sierra. You, you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, you can. But yeah. If I'm buying if I'm buying an eGPU and spending four hundred dollars for like a good one, might as well spend eight and get a fucking PC. Yeah, I just gotta wait for this fucking Bitcoin. I'm shit not to doing go it away. though. Yeah, I know. But I, I was like, it's tax time. I was like, hey, maybe I'll get some tax money. I'll, I'll build my PC finally. Oh, this isn't happening anytime soon. No, this but I was thinking like about a... it. But then I hear him fucking yeah. Can't use a fight stick. Can't use this. And you know what you're doing. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'd walk in and well. I need to throw this in the trash. You know, I mean, there's more times that things work than it doesn't. But when shit doesn't work, it, it don't fucking work. work. Well, I know. It's funny because there's uh, Lazy Game Reviews, a YouTube channel. And he does like uh, old school PC games from the 90s. And he was doing one of like a demo disc compilation. And he's got like this super computer from the 90s. And some of the demos just wouldn't work on his computer. And that's just what happened. And yeah. like, especially in the 90s, you get a game, it just didn't work. No reason. Just didn't just work. Didn't work. Just yeah. didn't fucking work. Tough shit. Yep. 
Update your drivers. Oh, they are updated? Yeah, they are All updated. Right. It just doesn't fucking work on your Delete computer, your drivers man. and reinstall them. You did... Okay, fuck you. It's not going to work. Is it Tuesday? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Then the other thing with PC that cracks me up is all the clients I have on my left-hand side are, like, I got Steam, I got the fucking Epic Launcher, I got, uh... What do you mean, Epic Launcher? Oh! I was... Never mind. You're not yeah. running these all simultaneously. No, 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 no. They're just clickable. Like, on PS4, you have a main menu, and whoever yeah. the publisher is, you just click it, and you're good. Right. No. This, you got, you got your Epic Launcher, you got uh, Battle.net, you got uh, Origin, you got... I mean, if you're into fucking the... League fucking, and you got you play right. Who needs fucking league? You got Dota. Is that the Riot Games launcher? I don't even know yeah. what it is. Yeah. Um. Then you play right. Yeah. The Ubisoft one. Technically, yep. you need you play. However, a lot of the, all the Activision games are on Steam. It's just when you boot. Um, you mean Ubisoft. When you boot a Ubisoft game. You said Activision. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> all the Ubisoft games are on Steam when you boot. That game, though, you see, like, the game launch, it stops launching, you play then launches, and then the game finally I launches. did notice that when I did run Rainbow, Rainbow Six. Six. Yeah. Yep. Oof. Woof. I don't know. It gave me, just now, I got a vote of confidence that I can do a PC when he was describing his symptoms. I said fan right away. Yeah, you know, you know, man. You know. You Smell know. fire and yeah. clicking. <laughs> <laughs> fan. Fan. <laughs> I knew you didn't have water cooling either. I didn't. Because of clicking. It's all fan. Yeah. Burning fan. I'm upset. <laughs> Feel the burn. Uh, I played a couple things. Final Fantasy XIV continues. Yeah, don't I... ever accuse me of this Dota bullshit anymore. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> I mean, you, got, you and Mark were talking about it last week. Yeah, we sure were. I still almost don't care, though. Like, I haven't played it since Friday. And again, if you told me right now that that deleted from my hard drive and I can't, if, if it was a PT situation, I can't download it again, it's gone forever, I'd be like, all right. Or your PS4, the fan broke, and there was a small portion of your hard drive that caught fire. <laughs> right, right, right. And that one part of the hard drive locked. I'd be like, all right, shit. I guess not. You know what I mean? Like, it just, if I'm in it, it's, I get it's, that. it's fine. I'm just, I don't know. And the more time I spend away from it, the less time I feel, or the less I feel inclined to go back to it. Not having a bad time with it, just having the time. Is your brother still playing it? 14? I know he played 11 for a while. I think you said he was playing 14. Is he still playing I 11? I think he still plays 14. I think he stopped playing 11. Yeah. I think he's still rocking 14, I want to say. What does he do? Is it more the I don't know, community man. side of it? Is it the... I honestly don't know. Dude. I know there's a lot of endgame content I haven't even come close to. Like, I am nowhere near the end of the main story. After Wait, that, there's a story there's... in 14? Four... So that's the one dope thing. 14, like, a lot of MMOs have just click, 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 click. Like, there's no story. Skip the cutscenes. It's all bullshit. This has a really, really good. So when's, deep... what happens when you beat the story? Uh, the end game then you got endgame. It, yeah. You go do dungeons. You do whatever. And every year they've been adding expansions. So they oh, did okay. Heaven's Ward. They did... Stormblood, presumably this uh, June they'll add a third thing, but um, and they do crossover stuff too. Like they've done right now, there's a six event that's happening, or I think it's just I don't know if it's an event. I think it's just a patch. Like there's now content from six where you get to fight the Phantom Train. You get to I don't know if you fight Kefka, but they showed Kefka in a video. Oh, that's cool. Um, so they they, they do that. They they've done previous events. Like they did they did a 15 crossover. They did a 13 crossover. I think they've done seven content. I, I don't, I might be wrong about that, but they've done stuff like that. Like to really tie it back into the whole universe. I just, there's something, I don't know what's missing. Maybe I just need to. Like that go all sounds good on paper besides the 13 crossover part, but well, uh, it's, like, I, I, yeah, I guess it's an MMO at the end of the day for me. Yeah. And I don't know. Talking to, just an MMO. Mm -hmm. I did the, uh, I did the tutorials to teach you like, Hey, here's how you should be a good teammate. Um, so my class last week, I think I talked about it. I you're a witch. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah, made a witch. Yeah. Started as a conjurer, which eventually turns into a white mage. <laughs> Fuck that up. Didn't want to do that. Son I, I want to be. I want to be a no black. No one wants mage. to be a white mage. I know. I want to be a black mage. You need support. Sorry. I'm not good with support. I don't want to be the one that lets somebody down. Oh, no support's mercy yeah, all the way. It is true. Because <laughs> once you fuck up as support, it's 
It's a burn, man. It's you fucked you. up. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's I just blame my teammates. You gotta protect me. That's all. True. Yeah, Give me the true. fucking mic. I'll true. I'll fix it. <laughs> um. Well, why were you the front of the line? You weren't protecting me. It's not my <laughs> fault. <laughs> no, but basically, like this game makes it easy to switch classes. Um, and in fact, it's encouraged to do multiple classes. Uh, and it's necessary to do multiple classes to get to your next job. So, for example, the conjurer class, the what will eventually become the white mage, where I started. That's where I started. So in order for me to change, I had to level up that to a certain point, specifically 10. Um, every five levels, you get a different like story evolution for your class. So you hit level five. Level one, they give you your weapon when you go to that your class's guild. They give you your weapon, you go out, great. You hit level five, you go back, there's a mission for you. Teaches you a little bit more about what your class is. It's like the very introductory stuff. You hit level 10, then it's like, all right, you're getting serious about this thing. It's time to go to the next step. Once you do that though, they come back and they're like, wow, you've really proven yourself. You're doing great things in this role. Uh, but we understand you might want to do something else. If you do, you can go. If not, we'd like you to stay. At that point, I was like, later. <laughs> ran done. and I looked it up the class I wanted to be you would if I had done it from the beginning you spawn in a completely different area of the map so I ran all the way to that other area and you're not supposed to be like I got killed along the way by a couple things that were way higher level than me you're not supposed to do that at all I did it got there talked to those dudes and I was like yo y'all hire and they're like here's your stick and I was like yeah so now I'm casting fire, I'm casting blizzard instead of just throwing rocks and healing. Yeah, so when he ran out of the building, did you yell like PK Thunder or anything as you're running out of the <laughs> yeah, building? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> um, Wait, are you playing on PS4? I am. The dope thing about it is, so the controls are really nice for I didn't even MMO. I didn't even make that connection. I yeah. just assumed PC because uh-huh. it's... Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Look, if Diablo 3... Worked great on PlayStation with the good controls. I have hope for anything. Yeah, this, I'm not I mean, doubting it. I was just, I just didn't think about it. Yeah, no, you, um, all of your, everything you do is bound to pulling a trigger and using a face button or something on the D-pad, okay. and you can change your hotbar at any time. Like you go in and you say, I want Blizzard to be R2 and X, or I want it to be L2 and up. Like you can make it whatever you want. Um, I guess. Yeah, because if, if you do that, it's not a bad idea to use a controller because yeah. everything's binded. And on PS4, you can plug in a mouse and keyboard and use it. You don't, you're, really? You don't have, yeah, you don't have to use a controller at all, which huh. I've considered doing. But when I had the the PS4, I had it up in the living room. So I was kind of jumping between controller and remote play, honestly. Just whatever. Now I've moved the PlayStation back here. That's cool. Because I did it. Katie was gone. I was off work. I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to get lost in this shit for a while. Um. But the um, now I've leveled up. Now I've broken the level 15 is like a big – that's a big moment for your character. You're like halfway through leveling up um, to the main – you change jobs at I think 30, 30 or 35 um, or that's when you get your next level. But for me, the th- thaumatur- thaumatur- whatever the hell my you, class you're is. You're asking the wrong person. Yeah. The thing that becomes a black mage, um, in order to become a black mage – you need to hit level 30 or 35, but you also need to be level 15 as an archer. Um, it, for each role, you also need to level up a different class to at least level 15. Hmm. So I'm running and, and just leveling up. I'm learning new spells, which is cool because now I know a sleep spell. Now I know you know more advanced whatever that do more damage. Same way in any traditional Final Fantasy game, you're learning fire one, fire two, whatever. It's the same stuff. Um I don't know what that looks like for a more physical character, but I don't know. I did the, the tutorials though teach you like, Hey, this is your role. Here's how you play it. And it walks you through step by step. It's not mandatory, but they give you cool gear for completing it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's good. I just, so it's free until when I think when you hit that job change. Okay. Yeah. 35 or 30. Damn. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's not bad. Um, so you still gonna, Still want to play it when you hit that 35? That's it. I have not thought about it since Friday, Thursday when I was... Yeah, Thursday. So it's been like the whole weekend I haven't touched it. What level are you on now? 17? Something like oh, you that. still got time, man. Yeah. I haven't played it since then, and I haven't thought about it since then. Talking about it right now, I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I want to get back into it. But in an hour, I'll forget about it, and it doesn't matter. It's You know what I mean? I know what you mean. It's just... 
It's an MMO. I know. At the end of the day. I know. You know? Another thing Joe didn't play 10 years ago that I'm still kind of no, scratching my head I about. I know, man. Speaking of which, <laughs> I needed a hard pivot when I, because I hit a point where I got to a weird town and I didn't really know where to go. And I was like, I'm not, I don't have patience for this right now. Booted back to the thing. What do I have? Titanfall 2. Jumped into Titanfall 2. Started the campaign. Oh, yeah. You- yeah. Ran through that a little bit. So the first campaign mission, I did that. It's, it's fine. They make you, they make you wait for that, that Titan. And yeah. That, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't know, but man, it feels really good. You can feel the DNA, right? You respawn. It's like, Oh, right, you guys did just make call of duty, didn't you? But in a different way, like running on the wall feels good. And like movement in that game feels really good. Um, and I, so I did one campaign mission. I did one multiplayer match. And I, the only reason I didn't do another multiplayer match is just because I was like, I was on such a high walking out of it. I was like, I don't want to overdo it because I felt like I just overdone it with 14. I was like, I, this is good. I like this game. This is a good game. I right don't But have you played Titanfall 2? Which one did I play? Titanfall 1 was not on PS4. Correct. Correct. All right. I played, it was, it was like a trial weekend of two. So uh, that... The multiplayer, Matt, you know, right? Like the, it throws you in to a match, and you're there's grunt players or grunt enemies on the other team that are just running around. So even when you're not killing other actual players, you're killing something, and you have that little subtle sense of satisfaction. Where it was like a good 15 minutes, maybe not, I don't know how long the match was, halfway through the match before I realized, Fine. oh shit, those are computers. I'm not killing real people. I'm killing fake people. But I still felt like I was doing something good. You no, know, the fast fucker with the trail behind him. That's the, the guy. Those are the yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, but then, like, you... It, it just felt, like, natural to play through. Everything was very, very fluid. You... And earning the Titan feels earned. It's not, like... It's not cheap. It's not easy to get. You feel like, okay, I had to I had to do something to get it. Um, and then the Titan feels good too. That's it's the, not. That's the thing that shocked me about that game is how good it is to get into a Titan. And then I mean, you played one match, so you haven't played the other classes right, of right, right. Titan. Which once you get them, and I think you'll really start to feel like this is how I want to play Titan, and you probably are able to play it that way. That's really yeah. cool. It's fun, a lot of fun. But then I kind of combined both of them. And I was like, man, I've been been playing this MMO. I've been playing this MMO a little bit. And I've been playing, now I've played a round of this shooter. I kind of want to play like a shooter. Like if Final Fantasy had Titanfall's controls and gameplay, what would that be? And then I was like, oh, right. Destiny's a game. So I jumped back into Destiny and I started a new character. Was this all in one day? Yeah, this was literally back to back. <laughs> what? So what happened was I played 14 for like hours. It was my day off hours and i got to the end of it and i was like all right i'm stuck i don't know where to go titanfall i did the one campaign mission i did the one multiplayer match that probably took him less than an hour and yeah, yeah it wasn't long at all and within that hour though the battery thing popped up on ps4 i had two controllers with me the one was already dead so i had moved to the other one this one then popped up in the middle of that multiplayer match and said your, your batteries are low and i was like fuck i'd play or maybe in the campaign i knew i didn't have long and I knew I didn't want to walk downstairs to the basement. <laughs> so, so bitch. time was ticking. And I was like, well, what am I going to do here? Now, Vita was all the way upstairs. So, remote play, also not a great Jesus. option. Remote what I had to, play because your ba- the batteries are dead. I didn't want to walk downstairs. downstairs. And I didn't. the cable was down here, too. Didn't have time for that. Jesus. Didn't have time for that. Plus, I think you guys were. No, you guys weren't coming over that day. It was the night before you were over. Right? Yeah, yeah, you were mm-hmm. there. Yeah yeah. 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 yeah, no, I was just. I didn't want to move. Didn't want to move. So, uh, I. I got done Titanfall. I was like, I don't want to jump in and be in the middle of a multiplayer thing that matters and me, whatever. Make a new character in Destiny real quick. Dove in there. Made a new character. Got a warlock. Because last time I ran as a hunter, made a warlock. I and mean, I went with a different race this time. Last time I did the human race. This time I did the... Oh, the mech one? Awaken. I didn't do the uh, robot one. Oh. I did the... I don't know. The aliens Mm -hmm. or the demon alien people. The the Awaken, I think they're called, or the Awoken. Mm -hmm. Woke. (laughs) Awaken. Awaken. Um, (laughs) I did that. I kind of mirrored my design for my first character, but with blue skin 
and black lips and cool demon eyes. Hey. Going again? I haven't touched my character since the launch day of Destiny 1. <laughs> huh? We played Destiny 2. Yeah, but I just imported the character. Oh, yeah. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, it. Uh, I dove back into the beginning of that campaign with a little more context now. Like That was kind of cool seeing that again instead of me being like, Okay, everything's on fire. on fire. I don't get it. Oh, uh, no. Oh, it's no, like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, and I learned you can trade through the – I forget what it's called. The, um, I know. Yeah. I, yeah. It's the, it's the locker Something with the thing in the yep. main hub. Yep. But then, you can, you can yeah. trade your – What's that called? You can trade stuff from one character to another. So I've got all this gear and all this shit from my first character that my second character could really use right now. So I can get a leg up in the campaign – kind of steamroll through that campaign. Uh, yeah, it felt pretty good. Because I spent a while with my regular Hunter. Got that light level up to 295. And then uh, I think I was at like 285 when I sat down. I just kept swallowing gear until boosted it up. I'm really like, whenever you're ready, you got to do that raid. I'm not ready. All right. Well, whenever you are. <laughs> I don't know. I Yeah. And whenever you're ready to run around a dodo with me again, you know, just let me know. Exactly. Destiny's fun. I don't hate Destiny's it. Destiny's fun. I'm, I'm just not, not in the play. Of, I'm really not in the mood to f- play a first-person shooter. It's not Rainbow Six. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. If if I uh, if I were one of those people that played Destiny every day, I can understand where they might feel a little, you know, starved for content. But just don't play that game every day. Don't play the game every day. It's true. It's simple. I know. I think that I think you know now being. I mean, I'm barely right. But like dipping my toes into an MMO, I can see where an MMO could lend itself to daily play. Hey, let me log in. Let me get my things. Let me get to this. Let me get to that. And for Destiny not to be able to do that, I get that. Um, but for me jumping in after, like I think I dabbled with it a month ago. But prior to that, I hadn't really touched it since launch or October, and. Public events still still feel cool, like mm-hmm. they're not you know. And in the moment, like in, when I was really playing that game, public events were bullshit. It was like you're like, oh yeah, it's this one again. Let me do that. And even now, I'm feeling a little bit. I'm like, oh right, that's the one where the, the you know gorilla grod falls from the sky and you have to kill all the gorilla grods. And then yeah, yeah. But I really want to play Destiny again, which is again weird. Look at this. I got the fucking download the app again. I even broke my two page. App rule to have the goddamn. What's your two page app rule? I don't like to have more than two pages of apps. That's not a bad idea, but now you do, so you broke your own rule. I know, because I got that fucking Decidia game and I got the Son goddamn Destiny. I know. The Decidia game is pretty good, though. I downloaded it, I haven't launched it yet, though. It's pretty good. Which, it's... I mean, our audience probably knows that launching that game for me is going to be another step. Yeah, 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 of course. So I have Fire Emblem on my phone for the longest time, but I never got past the Terms oh, and Conditions page. Oh, I forgot about page. Fire Emblem. I never got past the Terms and Conditions page. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're probably not missing. I haven't opened I've still got Fire Emblem on my phone, but I haven't I'm, – I'm opening it now to see what the hell is going on. I got, I got farther in Pocket Camp, and that was 15 minutes. I was like, this game's fucking boring. Oh, I'm not even logged into Fire Emblem. Because I, I installed it. the thing on my phone when I got my new phone back in November, but I haven't actually. Yeah, I set up my phone as new when I got my 10. And Select all the images. That definitely was not <laughs> re downloading Fire Emblem. Taxis. Is that a taxi? Taxi. I don't know. Crazy Taxi? You got that on there? No. That is a mobile app, though. Return. It, oh, yeah, it is. You can buy a Crazy Taxi. I you own can. Uh, I was real excited to play that on my iPhone 4 or 5 when that came out. Yeah, they come out a while ago. Maybe my four. We're, yeah. we're we're downloading again. We'll see what happens. We'll see what's all going right, with okay, Fire Emblem Fates. Right. Yeah, we'll oh yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, stay For tuned. Fi- more Fire Emblem Fates. Yeah. After this after this short break, we'll be back with more <laughs> Fire Emblem Fates. I just play Crazy Taxi. I'm always down. Cra- we'll be right back. Emblem's the same, huh? <laughs> you know what is the same? Crazy yeah. Taxi, and it runs great yeah? on iPhones. Yeah, Does it look good, dude. You, I'm telling you, man. 
I saw just, you play. I didn't yeah, look it's at great. The I mean, there's no offspring bad religion, but I got past the terms and conditions in Final Fantasy. You did. Boom. I know. Oh, hold on. We can one step progress. at a time, man. Well, we'll one do it step after at a time, show, I guess. We got to add each other as friends. That uh, I'm not can... past the the oh, story right. cutscene cut in, and I was like, I don't got time. All right. Can we add each other as friends on the game center? Is that a thing? Because it makes yeah, me log in the game center. center it every was. Time. Yeah, game it center was. It is. Yes, but you like, can. I don't, okay. I don't know how to do that anymore because game center's not an app anymore. It's an app. Oh. Or it's not an app. It's in your settings. Because every time I like fire up Fantasy Star or something, it's like, hey, welcome back, and it has like the game center yep. icon. I don't remember how to do it, or if you can do it's it. It's in anyway. settings. Anyway, news. I haven't been here for a while. Yeah, video game news. Let's talk about it. Yeah, video game news. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are a game podcast. We are. Fuck, forgot. All we right. got a big list of stuff. Spring officially starts on Tuesday, guys. Uh, Pitchers and catchers no. start reporting for the Baltimore Orioles. Oh, there you go. Down in Sarasota, Florida. Last I heard, that groundhog didn't see his dick, so we got six more weeks of snow. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't follow that fucking groundhog. I follow the MLB oh. schedule, and they say spring training starts February 13th for the Baltimore Orioles. All right, man. So, so Tuesday. Tuesday, you're going to be busting out your shorts and Hawaiian shirts? I could up today. Yeah, yeah, I know. It was weird, weirdly hot. <laughs> it was. Yeah. I was inside all day, but it was. I could up Strange. today. Yeah, I was inside all day. But when I came out, walked mm-hmm. outside, I can wear this little track jacket mm-hmm. with the Dota logo show right you, there. Yeah, it rained know. all day. That's what it did, man. Too much. Yeah. Too much rain. Do you uh do you wear that in public and see if people notice? What? Oh, the Dota one? This is my first time wearing it. I wanted to break it out mm. for the first time on the podcast. It's fresh. I will, it's fresh. I will wear it around, though. I got, because yesterday I was wearing my Region Free Means Mother 3 shirt, and I I usually zip up my coat and put my hood up, like uh, the guy from Mr. Robot, because I'm afraid of people. But <laughs> I I had it was nice out yesterday, or somewhat nice, I don't know. And I had it unzipped, and it had that hanging open. Not paying attention. I wasn't doing it for a rise. It was just, like, too hot to zip up. And I, yeah. Motherfuckers were... Really getting in there, just like, what's that say? I don't fucking get that. (laughs) 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 Mother three. It's funny too, because sometimes people walk by, like they they look like they they read it and they're like stoked about it, but they don't fucking get it. They're just like they like the protest (laughs) shit too, and they're like, yeah, man, uh, yeah, mother three. Yeah, I guess so. There was one girl who made eye contact with me yesterday. Like, I I don't know if she got it or if she was just like got it. Someone looked at it, read it, and looked at me. I don't know if it was in like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Or if she was she like, like Camila? no, no, no. Just it was like a little girl, like an eight-year-old girl who was oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah. no, no, okay. she didn't Sorry, get, it. I, yeah, I, no. I, she didn't get. Can I take back that statement? <laughs> <laughs> uh, news. Uh, did uh, that was your big news? That was the. Oh yeah, that was. All right, right. I've been here for a while. I have to announce that spring officially right. starts. The baseball game's around the corner. Well, thank God it for looks that. Good. I'll make sure I turn on the AC come Tuesday. That's right. Yeah. I'll turn it on for you. Speaking of Tuesdays, let's talk about German coalition parties. That's video game news. Oh, I know where this is going. Yeah. No. Uh, this was an interesting little story that popped up. Uh, <laughs> Mark uh, discovered a new website. The Esports Observer. That, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. There is a German federal election, um, but they there was one three months ago. They've still not formed a new government. However, one of the subjects that they agreed upon uh, as they start closing in on their new coalition is that uh, esports are slowly getting recognized as an actual sport. In the eyes of the German government, uh, we want to give esports to we want to give esports a higher publicity," said CSU politician Dorothy Barr. Bear. Competitive gaming is supposed to be recognized in union and associations law, and esports to receive an Olympic perspective. It's pretty interesting. I don't know. It goes on from there, um, but they they want to push esports higher and higher in the public consciousness which i think is cool man i'd I'm much rather i mean obviously i'd much rather watch that shit than real sports but i think it's interesting i i'm a, I'm a sports fan right yeah obviously um i know i've had my allegiance allegiances to teams and 
Ravens. I know that sounds bad, but um, yeah, that is just the way it is. Like the Capitals and the the Ravens. And the That's Orioles. a little different though, because there's not the Baltimore Cloud Nine. Not yet. Correct. You know what I mean? But like you're starting to see that shit with the Overwatch League, because like they have like city teams, I believe. Oh really? Or like like or if the team doesn't have the city name in it. The team acknowledges like where the where they were like formed from or where like they identify from. Oh, okay. So, but it's different too because you think about like national sports associations, and those were all created in a time where there was no internet. The thing that connected everybody was broadcast and television. So, mm-hmm. the way that you do that on networks that can broadcast across the United States is make a team for every state or major cities in those states or bring in regional money, which is a big thing now. Yeah. Right. Um, I thought about that. Nowadays, but... you're you're able to beam in from anywhere, so technically anyone can be a fan from anywhere. I mean, even back in the sports, like going back to that analogy, like when I was a kid, I liked the fucking Philadelphia Flyers even though I was from Baltimore, mostly because there wasn't really a hockey team I gave a shit about. But even as I got older and I was watching football, like I was paying attention to the fucking Rams. And I don't live in St. Louis. You know what I mean? Like there's, Mm -hmm. you can have those different alliances in different places. But this now, even more so, you can tune in. You just like some guy's personality and therefore you're a fan of their team, their esports team. Um, I've done it with Smash to an extent. Like I I know some players by, I don't know them, know them, but I know their names. And I, if someone says, hey, so and so won the tournament, I'm like, oh, good for him. You know what I mean? It's like, so I've got thing. this new infatuation with Team Liquid. It's kind of bandwagon-ish, I guess, because I, I... But no, that's how it starts. No, you know what? No, that's not bandwagon, because I said I have a team I was rooting for, the inter, the international, yeah. before they won. So, screw that, not bandwagon. But, I mean, same thing, though. Like, you jumped on the Baltimore bandwagon because you lived in Baltimore. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with necessarily yeah. jumping on something for an arbitrary but reason. But I saw it more as, like, you kind of... Not really jumping a bandwagon. You're kind of repping your state. Yeah, that too. Or your, that, yeah. I was talking about that one instance because I always make fun of the bandwagon fans. Yeah. No, but no, I, I have a whole slew of Eagles fans. I think this is no, the first. Uh, I, they're talking like Olympic stuff. Didn't we just have this conversation at work too? Didn't I ask you? Do you, do you think they'll ever hit the Olympics? Esports. I, said, I think yeah. I think yeah. Well, that eventually. was a headline too. They said they were trying to push to the next Olympics or something, right? That's crazy. I mean, well, like the X Games kind of incorporate that. I know that's a weird like kind of outlier, but I mean. That's yeah. getting public attention, and you're starting to see more cable companies. Can you companies. imagine getting a, an Olympic gold medal in Splatoon 2? I think you gotta. <laughs> I think you're starting at Counter Strike and the Dota's of the world. Hold on, though. Wait a second. Now, hold on. I, I said that as a joke, but now I'm thinking about it. The next Olympics. I guess you probably couldn't do it the next Olympics. There's no, it's too short. Like, they've probably already decided what every game is in the schedule of those yeah. games. But they are in Japan. One of Japan's. Number one. They can't. Japan doesn't determine the game. It's just an Olympic committee. But they can push That's it. That's an international they coalition. Push it. They well, remember push the it. the trailer for the new Olympics? It was Mario. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure they'll put some kind of gaming edge to it. The fucking uh, dude. The guy. What do they call it? Emperor of Japan. Dressed as Nintendo. Or dressed as, <laughs> dressed as Mario, didn't he? I don't know. Something like that. He had a Mario. So, yeah, know. like at the yeah. end of the 2016 Olympics, they brought him out, and he was dressed as Mario. Like, what's up? About to do this thing. It's good. Yeah. I don't know. Cool. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm it's excited. weird. I'm excited. Um, get into the esports, I think, more than ever this year. Because I have already. I think I've already watched more tournaments than I did all of last year. Not like all the tournaments, but then Rainbow Sixes Invitational is coming up. And then fucking it's, August... Yeah. I might not even come to a fucking podcast if it's depending on how the finals line up Jesus. for the uh, the international. No, T I eight. Mm. T I eight. Sounds Can't like wait. a calculator, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> just add a three. Yeah. <laughs> I love, I love, I love our <laughs> little group chat. Like, what's T I eight? I send like the little little grins, and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> yep. It's a Dota thing. I. <clears throat> we we got some Nintendo stuff this week. Uh, we'll, Do we? We'll, yeah, we're going to break open that Q&A a little bit later. But first, uh, finally, after nearly a year, you, you can't get, with only like three weeks away, you really can't get much closer than uh, early March. Because believe it or not, early March is uh, when the Switch debuted last year. It is. Now a full 12 months after. You'll finally be able to start redeeming gold points in my Nintendo for eligible digital purchases. Don't know what that means. There's no details about it. Uh, the post on my Nintendo 
says, uh, my Nintendo members already earn gold points by buying qualifying games. Soon they'll be able to redeem gold points for eligible digital games and content for the Nintendo Switch system too. Here's how it will work. Buy a qualifying digital game for Nintendo Switch, Wii U, or Nintendo 3DS family systems, or a physical game for the Nintendo Switch system. Earn gold points worth 5% of the amount you pay, not including any points used uh, or discounts used. Uh, you can then redeem those points on your next eligible digital purchase, including games and DLC for Nintendo Switch from the eShop or Nintendo.com. So it seems like... I assume they're going to do the same thing to do with Switch or, or with Wii U and 3DS, right? Where, like, they might have a smaller game where it's 60 coins gets you a 30% discount or, or whatever the hell the, the math is there. But they really didn't specify. So I don't know. But the fuck thing is, my Nintendo Gold points expire after 12 months on the last day of the month. So March is literally the cutoff to give people... Because if you've never owned anything in the, uh, the Wii U, 3DS ecosystem and you bought a switch points that you earn for buying digital games in the last calendar year if you bought all your games last march with your switch those points would disappear by the end of march see that's and they waited until march to do it <clears throat> that's dumb yeah i know uh is it as dumb though uh -oh. as sony sending out surveys <laughs> Uh, yeah. So Those motherfuckers. Yes. Uh, Sony is sending out a survey on PlayStation Network name changes. An anonymous tipster forwarded an email to PushSquare.com from PlayStation, uh, in which the manufacturer ponders whether gamers are interested in the feature or not. Uh, I'm gonna read you this this here email. It says hi. PlayStation have been exploring the possibility of adding a feature to PSN that lets users change their ID. Before any of this, though, they want to understand if gamers are interested in this feature or not. Please remember the topic and contents of this survey are for your eyes only and not to be shared with anyone else. We can't be sure whether this feature will be added or not, but we can be sure your opinions on the matter will be heard. The survey goes on to propose how PSN name changes would work. According to the questionnaire, you'd be able to change your name multiple times for free, but you'd only be able to do it once every six months. Uh, this is common practice. Moreover, if you want to change your PSN name back to an older handle, you'd have to contact customer support. Oh, God. And he was on a have you board. dealt with PlayStation customer support before? I have not. I actually have. Yeah, yeah, I have on a couple times. It's Good, bad? not great. Uh. It's getting to them. Once you get to them, it's fine. It's getting to them. That's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Or I had to do it for the Bloodborne wallpaper. <laughs> and then um, that time where I accidentally charged myself for two years of PlayStation Plus instead of one. Yeah. Yeah. That that extra $60 I could have really used in my pocket at the time. And they You're were so like, well, you can't have the money back. Well, we'll give you that in PSN credit. And I was like, eh, <laughs> fine. I'll yeah. use it. Yeah. It's not going <laughs> to not get used. <laughs> Uh, Bandai Namco is working on Metroid Prime 4. Hold on. Uh, before you move on, yeah. what if CEO Kazurai, his last act as CEO of Sony, he comes out and says, guys, PlayStation Network changes, or name changes are now allowed. First one's free. One me. Drops the mic and retires. <laughs> uh, the only thing better than that is if Jackie T came back <laughs> and he said. That, no, you're, you're better. Yo. Yep. <laughs> Y'all listening? <laughs> this what is, is how, he this fucking is how doing? you share your games. With your yes. Friends. I need to watch an interview with Jack Trenton. It's been a while. Jackie motherfucking God, T. Man. God. I love Sean Layden. Sean Layden's a very charming man. He's uh he's good in that role, but Jack was Jack was there for a while. Anyway, yeah, Metroid Prime Four, Bandai Namco. There were rumors about this months back. There were rumors like. A little bit after. Right it after announced. it got announced. Yeah, it was like, hey, yeah, I think this is happening. Um, but, yeah, this kind of happened. Uh, some LinkedIn fuckery came about. And then Eurogamer heard from some anonymous sources. Normally, uh, if it's a, an outlet saying, hey, we heard from sources that blah, 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 blah. I have been very 
careful on our news segment not to bring in in certain websites or certain things, um, even certain outlets. I don't always rep- I don't always pull from, but specific writers I might. You know, if it comes from Jason Schreier. It's as good as gold. Um, and Eurogamer, after a lot of that Switch stuff last year, that seemed. I mean, they they fucking cracked that wide open. I I feel like I can trust what they say. I mean, we'll find yeah. Out so it's for not sure. confirmed. It's still a rumor. It's rumored, but it's pretty. But there's some strong inclinations. I mean, even that LinkedIn page, like yeah. that is. It doesn't exactly say Metroid Prime, but what other Nintendo first party exclusive for Switch <laughs> can you think of at the moment? Right. Exactly. Um. So, uh, this says it's. Da, 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 da. Yes, connecting the dots on LinkedIn. Um, rumors kind of ran through on Reset Era. Um, and then Press Start, another site, noted how Bandai Namco Studios Singapore staff uh, were trying they – were, they were not trying very hard to conceal that they were working on something very exciting. Um, looking through their profiles – You'll see they're working on a, quote, secret game, a, end quote, ambitious AAA title, a very interesting unannounced project, and a game which will see, quote, more exciting details announced, quote, soon or later. Uh, one staff member, a lead designer, described themselves as working on an unannounced IP, parenthesis, a first-person shooter at adventure exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, this staff member were also listed themselves as overseeing work on an exclusive Ridge Racer 8 for Switch 2, uh, which has not yet been verified. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. And then... Um, it be a weird Mario game. <laughs> and then it says, since the publication of this story, uh, the author, Tom Phillips at Eurogamer, says, I've heard Bandai Namco's Japan studio is also working on the project with the intention it will now take the lead on its development while Singapore moves to focus on another Switch game. The other piece of Singapore is that a lot of Bandai Namco Singapore staff are ex-LucasArts who specifically worked on Star Wars 1313, which was meant to be like an Uncharted-style Star Wars game. Which, I mean, of course, it was E3 footage, but it looked cool. God, that game looked so fucking good. So what else did... What what did Bandai... I, I forgot so, how to talk. What else did Bandai Namco work on in the past? Bandai, I mean, they've... Like, not published, like, developed. Uh, developed, they've done... Because good, good. that's what we're talking about here. We're not talking right. about publishing. We're talking about developing. In regards to Nintendo, Bandai developed um, Smash, the last Smash. They they worked with Sora uh, Limited um, to make Smash for Wii U and Smash for 3DS. They did something else with Nintendo, didn't they? I don't remember. I wouldn't be... I wouldn't know. Off the top of my head, anyway. Uh, give me a sec. They, they got a lot of games because a lot of them are published. Um, I mean, I'm not smashing on Bandai Namco. I just want to know what the hell else they made in the past. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their, yeah. Their, um, the track record. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Super Smash Bros. was the last big one they did with uh, with Nintendo. They've done a lot of other stuff. I mean, obviously the publishers behind um, Dark Souls and, and what? Oh, uh, Pokken Tournament. That was another Bandai Namco developed because it's basically pokemon tekken um those are the big two i can think of bandai namco they they publish the dragon ball z games too don't they they do published yeah i think so yep um i mean i'm looking i'm on the wikipedia page which doesn't help there's (laughs) a lot published by and yeah because i want to see you know what's really funny at the bottom of the wikipedia page the last game on their list developed is metroid prime 4 yeah, it's, it is to be announced. Oh, I mean, what, anyone go in there and edit yeah. that though? But it didn't get taken down yet. Someone's saying it was revealed in February 2018. The game would be developed by Nam by Nam, Bandai Namco Studios Singapore. That's Wikipedia. Don't That's worry. yeah. Ignore that. Who the fuck's your source, dude? I, I mean, I don't know. Even I don't know. Even if it's someone that doesn't have the like, first person shooter chops, like. The fresh perspective is always good. No, yeah, it's good. I just wondering. I didn't know. They developed games, is what I'm saying. Look, if right, right, I thought yeah, they were just always, strictly yeah. publishing. 
I have any I have faith in any developer to transition to a completely different type of genre after what I saw Gorilla Games do with Horizon Zero Dawn. So yeah, yeah. Um, I agree because that was their first project, right? Well, they were the kill zone people. It was their first post. Oh no, yeah, they were the kill zone people. Yeah, it was meaty first, you know, meathead first person shooter. After it was the you're right. It was the Halo competitor and Call of Duty competitor. It was was supposed to be the Halo killer. Yeah, and it wasn't, but. Yeah, then like a average first person shooter, they made probably one of the best what action art action RPG, action adventure yeah. Yeah. titles I think I've played in a long while. So Uh Speaking of games that come about because of job descriptions, here is a uh description of a career or rather a uh Job description for someone who's hiring, that someone being the Pokemon company, who was looking for a localization editor in Spanish, uh, a six-month minimum contract set to commence between April and June 2018. Uh, To put this into context, there's a lot of details within this uh, thing, you know, what they want, knowledge and skills they require, um, you know, the education background that you need. Uh, where it's where it's happening, et cetera, et cetera. But the primary responsibilities include editing content and copy editing rules, text, and other game related content. Um, editing for grammar in Spanish, proof and revision as necessary to game related text in both electronic and hard copy formats. Um, blah 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 blah. To put this into context, the last time they did one of these was six months prior to well. The same, the same commencement time between April and June happened for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon for a localization. So this being hired right now to commence in April or June could potentially mean that uh, that, that Switch game might be out this fall. That's kind of what this is all pointing to. Oh, okay. Which would be crazy if year two of Switch gets Pokemon. Why is that crazy? Because last year we had a guy sitting at a desk who goes, God, we'd like to make a Pokemon game for this. You know I what really I mean? He said it was coming next year. I don't remember them saying this year. Like, I remember them saying we're working on it, but like, dude was sitting at a desk. They didn't have anything. At least Metroid Prime 4, they mocked up a logo. This was like, hey, we're still making 3DS games, but boy, it'd be cool to make one for the Switch. <laughs> huh. And yeah. now maybe it's coming. Even still, right? Like, if you look at the the generational gaps between each of the mainline Pokemon games from console or from or even on DS to 3DS and all that, like, it was years. Like, Pokemon X and Y were 2013. Pokemon a Sun and Pokemon a Moon were 2016. 16. Pokemon Sun and Moon came out? 2016. Because last year was Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon in November. So it would have been not this past November, but the prior. Damn. Yeah, I mean, like, that... I don't know. That's wild. Um, I, what do you I, think? I, I, I'm not... I could have swore they said they were planning for it for next year. It still just seems great. Like, to do that big of a game... I mean, I guess their, their development staff is... Like, I don't know the first thing about coding and art and things like that, but, like... Well, they already had the assets. Like, if they can make their existing assets work on Switch and make them look clean and good. Yeah, if they have existing assets and they have an engine, I mean, it's already, like, half the battle but what right that there. So then what that tells me, though, is are we getting a traditional Pokemon game on Switch? That's the thing. They, they There was that weird rumor. Remember there was a thing about Pokemon Stars? Yeah. That was a, apparently, I mean, this is all rumors and speculation, but the, the rumor was... Pokemon Stars was them porting Sun and Moon to Switch just to see if the engine could run on Switch. Um, Switch has a different architecture than Wii U and 3DS, but it still shares a common DNA a little bit. So I don't think it was that difficult for them to get it up and running on Switch. In fact, I think we've heard kind of anecdotally that a lot of people were able to get their games at least up on Switch within days in, in mm. some cases. I remember that report from last year, like different indie devs that were like, Oh yeah, we fuck save as. <laughs> like it was just it wasn't mm-hmm. that easy, but it was that easy. They hit the port button inside their engine. Right. 
Uh, that so exists, and I know it exists. It's thing Unity. Easy. I showed you guys yeah. that screenshot. Yeah. Just make everything in Unity. <laughs> fuck, fuck Frostbite. Fuck, fuck, uh, fuck Unreal. Yeah. Screw them. But they're... I think they, they were able to get it up and running, but I don't know how far that goes. I don't know what that... I don't know. Look, just put Final Fantasy 15 into Unity yeah. and hit the port button in Unity and put it on a Switch. Do you think... Is that how you do it? Do you think Final Fantasy 14 is coming on Switch? No, it's not. that's not coming on Switch. I I think... And they want to make a big splash. Fifteen comes. To you Switch. think so? That was my prediction earlier. You know what it'll be? You know what it'll be? It'll be a port of that mobile version. That one I think is already halfway confirmed, right? Fifteen they're having trouble with, but that mobile version I think they've all but confirmed come coming to Switch. I can see that. Does that count as my prediction? No, because you said fifteen. Hmm. Not the mobile port. We'll of argue that in January. I'll argue <laughs> that now. Uh, speaking of January, let's talk about August. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> Evo 2018. Evo had its lineup announced of video games that will be played. Uh, Evo, of course, being the major fighting game tournament that in happens Las every year Vegas. in Las Vegas. This year's lineup, uh, August 3rd through 5th, Street Fighter V Arcade Edition. Street Fighter still kind of the... Uh, that's the Sunday afternoon yeah, main that's stage. The, yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, Tekken 7. All right. Guilty Gear Xrd Revision 2. Okay. Injustice 2. Makes sense. <clears throat> Super Smash Brothers Melee. All right. Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. Makes sense. Dragon Ball Fighters. All right. Dragon Ball. Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Is that the one they announced last year? Blaze Blue? Oh, no. Well, Blaze, I, I thought it was a Blaze Blue game, but they're making a new one with some other, or there's a cross thing going on. I, I might be speaking at my ass. I don't know. Mm, yep, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle is not out until May 31st. Hey! So, yeah. Yeah, I know my fighting games. Uh, and those are the games. Oh, 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 this is that badass Blaze Blue one. It's got characters from fucking everything in it. Uh, look at me. It's got like Persona characters and R W B Y yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah whatever the hell yeah 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 yeah. Are you sure that's the full list? I feel like there's a game missing from there. No, that was the full list. You that sure? was everything. Yeah, I mean, right. I'm on Evo dot Not not dot some com. not some main fighting game that came out last like year December. from a big developer. Oh, Injustice Two. That's that's come. That's there. Yeah. Oh, I said December. Oh, Tekken, one, Tekken Seven. Another game. Was Tekken, Tekken Seven. Seven. Yeah, Tekken Seven's there. All right. Here, let me read it again. All right. Street Fighter V, Tekken 7, Guilty Gear X, or Rev 2, uh, Injustice 2, Smash Melee, Smash Wii U, Dragon Ball Fighters, and Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. I could have sworn there was another game, and it had two universes colliding together. Like oh, two different IPs colliding shit, together. Dude, Mortal Kombat vs. DC, that's the old mm, shit. You gotta get rid yeah, of that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I mean, technically, Akuma shows up in, I think, most of these games. Uh, so okay. <laughs> you, might be, you might be thinking of, of that. <laughs> I don't know. What else could you be talking about? There's surely not another know, game that came out There's September. a game that came out last year. It had uh -huh. two huge uh, IPs in one game. And it's been a long game. That's been, I mean, it's been a fighting game that's been going on for quite some time. Mm. Dude, Street Fighter First Tekken. Was oh. a while ago. Yeah, that was a while ago. That was not time. last year. Dang, you know, I guess, yeah. I, got, I don't know. Yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom is not coming to this <laughs> tournament. And weirdly enough, as you pointed out, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom not at Capcom's yeah, that's... <laughs> own official tournament. So it's the bastard child of Capcom fighting games. Then I don't know like, the fuck legit. going on, dude. And was this the one you were trying to do as the platform? Because isn't like infinite? Wasn't it called? Yeah, yeah. infinite. Yeah. It was yeah. like, hey, we're gonna that's do the platform. I don't know. Oh, good. That's bad. I know it's not good. That's bad. Look, because Marvel vs. Capcom, like all the old ones, have been at e like that's the one I like to watch at yeah. Evo. That's mm -hmm. what he even said before the podcast. Like it's one of those fighting games. It's like it's like a legacy fighting game. Like yeah. it's been out there. And even like three was way different than yeah. two, and it, it had its own share of flack that people gave it, but it's still fucking. It was still in the scene. Yeah, yeah. I really like watching Melee or or for Wii U, whatever version. Of yeah, 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 yeah. Smash, and then uh, yeah, I distinctly because usually uh, the cat Capcom vs. Marvel is Saturday night. Yeah, I, I, I just stay not, up late Saturday night watching. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I I can't stand watching Street Fighter. I really? Don't either. I don't. I, I don't either. I nope. I don't, like I Street don't, Fighter Five? Dude, I used to watch four. I used to watch five. I don't like it. Really? I, I don't enjoy watching it. I don't know why. 
And I just like watching because I, I love the game. So. I, I think I like team-based kind of stuff or um, non-conventional fighters like Smash. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, like this year... I, I do like watching Smash. I always watch Mortal Kombat or Injustice, whichever one's up. See, I don't even like watching So wait, Mortal Kombat's not this year at Evo, no, right? No. no. It's, inju- it's always whatever their current game is. Right now, NetherRealm's pushing... But uh, NetherRealm's there, though. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, they're, they're there with yeah. their game. Um Nintendo's there with two, one of which for a long time they didn't really want to support oh God, officially. That's so weird. Yeah, anyway. Right? Like that, now they're like, yeah, let's fucking do it. Um, no, three. Nintendo has three there, right? No, ARMS was only at, J- at Japan. No, Evo, you said Pocken's there, right? No, it's not. Oh, it's not. I thought you Tekken, said Pocken. Tekken. 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 Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It'd be a weird Tekken game. It sure would. Uh, finally, after months of questioning nintendo announced the best amiibo release of all time uh splatoon 2 is getting some new amiibo pearl and marina in this a twin sense like <laughs> i if know you're gonna do amiibo i know if you have to do amiibo i guess these are the next two that make sense yeah. uh 24 dollars 99 cents in a two-pack uh release date to be announced um but they were announced during a four twenty. There was a – I still – I haven't – honestly, I, I follow the Splatoon subreddit, and I some shit got retweeted in my Twitter feed as well. There was something that happened related to Splatoon in Japan. I don't know if it was a live tournament or just a concert or both, but uh, some guy got retweeted in my Twitter feed. Uh, it was – I'm just going to show you guys <laughs> in front of me because I don't know how else to explain it. It was a uh, – A live concert featuring Callie, Marie, Pearl, and Marina. So is that uh, – that's holograms? Can the people in the audience see them? The whole thing might be a hologram. I don't know what's happening in here. Yeah, it looks like holograms. Dabbing? I don't – yeah. Yeah, Pearl dabs a lot. So maybe that's one reason to like her, I guess. And then after this concert, which – Dude, wait. Is that spoilers for Splatoon 2? (laughs) <laughs> no, because this, this was not the ending of Splatoon 2, I can tell you that. I'm just saying, I, we were looking know. for one of them, I forgot which one. But we were looking for one of them, and I, did we find them? Uh, Sp- uh, spoilers. Did you mean it? That's spoilers. I don't know. But yeah, the, a part of that thing, though, yeah, they're, uh, they're coming. Don't know when, but yeah, there was an official trailer on uh, Nintendo's YouTube channel. Oh, is that the picture you sent in the chat? Yes, Earlier. yes, at that screenshot. But then, yeah, Nintendo made a video. They're coming. There they are. Splatoon 2, off the hook, new Amiibo. 41-second video. 25 bucks. Uh, and... You got in, any more room on that shelf? Oh, babe, girl, I'll make some room. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, and then there's a new Splatfest next weekend. Thank God. Love versus money. Show me the money. Ah, uh, Team Pearl, I hear. Team huh? Pearl. Ugh. So what's Ugh. the what's love versus Sorry, money? I won't be playing anyway. Love versus money. You got to play. Man. Money all day. What do you need love for, man? Man. Money buys you computers. Yeah. Money buys you that 1080 that you don't yeah. buy. Yeah. <laughs> money buys you a good fan that doesn't yes. buy you yes. I mean, that, I'll, we'll set a little in the Splatterfield. That's all I can say. Is it really called the Splatterfield? It is when I say it. Nice. I, don't think it I is. do respect. I don't think it is. Respect. It isn't. Respect. It's probably like the Get Reggie on the fine or on the line. Come on, hit him up. I'll see him. I'm going to New York. All I'll, right. I'll, yeah. Hello, sir. Shake my hand. Tell me about uh, the Splatterfield. Just walk in. The first person that greets you. Oh, I'm going to Reggie's office. I'll be yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> never see Reg. He's, he's Reggie. He's expecting me. <laughs> Reggie's expecting me. He's not even here. Oh, he is. He I just is. Gotta yeah, go yeah, yeah. That's what you think, but you know, me and him are buds. We're gonna go have pizza. I'm going to talk about Mother three. Wild of the Breath, which is the Zelda yeah, 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 sequel yeah. to it's, Breath yeah. of the Wild. It's the new hard mode. Uh, last but not least, last week we teased a little bit about the Q&A out of the um, Nintendo Investors Relations meeting. I was on that call. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How was it? Did you enjoy your time? Sure. And are there any of these eight questions yours? Or are they All of them are questions? mine. Oh, good. Here All we go. <laughs> uh so you can find this on Nintendo's uh, Investor Relations website, which, of course, everyone has bookmarks, so I don't need to reiterate that. But uh, 
the Q and A. <laughs> Q&A from the list thing revealed a couple things that I found interesting. I sent this to you guys. You guys read it already, I assume? I was on the call, dude. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't give um, a shit. Now, we're not going to go through verbatim on each question and each answer because it's a lot. It's, it's eight fucking full pages of tiny text filled with Q&A. Boring, boring call, I know. Uh, that was the slides. The slides are all the like, hey, here's a number. The Q&A, I knew that. I was there. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> the, the I Q&A, put together the PowerPoint. <laughs> the I Q&A that usually document. gets... <laughs> This usually gets pretty interesting because people ask some questions that are coming a little bit from, hi, I invest in your company, but also, hey, I like Nintendo a lot and I want to, right? So it's, yeah. Uh, some stuff about Nintendo Labo. Uh, generally speaking, I, there's a couple questions about it and like the innovation and blah, blah, blah. Uh, the takeaway I got from all the Labo stuff is basically that Nintendo not only is open to ideas like this, but they are actively promoting within the company ideas like Labo, um, and there are some that we have still yet to see and will see this year. Bring back the vitality sensor. I mean, that that might be. They talk specifically about how when Joy-Con is in development, um, that a lot of it, their realization was like, oh, we can do a lot with this little thing. We can pack a lot of sensors in here and we can do a lot of weird shit. Miyamoto specifically talked about how um, when they were doing a lot of fitness stuff with Wii, one of the main things of feedback they got was there should be a way to strap the Wii remote to your leg so that you can pick up on certain things. And they took a lot of those kind of thoughts into consideration when developing Joy-Con to begin with and that Labo is just the beginning of what we can expect. I um, still don't think we've seen a lot of HD Rumble stuff. Right. And I, I feel what like that can be, yeah. One of the Labo things is, is the thing where you strap the controllers to a piece of cardboard and you – do certain things to make it race, like it'll vibrate and, and walk across the table. So that's something. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo Switch Online. I'm just going to read this direct quote. Um, the question was basically like, hey, this shit's been delayed. Uh, wh- what are you doing to make sure it's popular? Uh, the response from Kimishima was... Uh, it's, it's less about the mechanism and more a question of what kind of products we can offer and spread the service spread of the service will depend on whether consumers want what we offer give us a more t- give us a bit more time to announce more details about the service i think that the announcement will convey to you how we plan to popularize this service so apparently whenever they announce it they already they feel pretty confident about whatever it is to make it a, an attractive thing and then takahashi says we have some ideas about how to make nintendo switch online appealing when it becomes a pay a for pay service so i think our next announcement will be worth the wait I'm not. I'm Keep not gonna start. It. I'm not gonna start to speculate. I'm just gonna let it be what it is. I don't know. Or just keep delaying it. That way, I don't have to pay. Let's pass. I mean, dude, if they make it dope, they make. Did it you dope. do a Control F for Mother Three? Yeah. yeah, that was the first thing I did. How about Virtual Console? You know. Or Command F. You guys are Max. Yeah. Is I, that I same thing. Command. Command F. Yeah. yeah. I I don't think there was any specific mention of anything, unless it was one of the investors who asked a. The question, okay, you know, hey, where's virtual? Con-? I don't think they did though. Hmm. Yeah. Um. They let's see. They talked a little bit about like you know how do you get the switch into China because China's still kind of a closed market for that stuff. Um. Uh, one thing they talked about that was interesting was. basically trying to popularize the switch. Now their, their attack plan with the switch at the beginning was to get us on board um, and to get lapsed gamers on board. People who had left the Nintendo family needed to come back. Um, Also the people who've left gaming entirely, but now have disposable income and they're like, Oh wow. That's like when I was a kid and I should get back into that. Now I have money to spend on it. Um, Now they want to get, as we move forward in the next year, they want to do the, the Wii thing where now we're going to see those broadening appeals. So they talking about Labo specifically, not only that it's targeted to children, but maybe parents of children are going to start to see that as a way that they can play games again. Um, Their eventual goal with the switch is now moving forward to get one in everyone's hands. Um, I think that was the Wii plan, wasn't it? The Wii was to get one into every household. Okay. And to treat it as a to, – to teach people who otherwise hadn't played games that they can play games. This, they want more than one in each household. If you have six kids, they want six Switches, in, one in each hand. 
Um, they want it to be the idea that you could be walking around and always assume that someone has a switch. I think a lot of what they talked about specifically in this Q and a reminded me a lot of if, cause there's this big parallel between Apple and Nintendo. If you look, it's usually Nintendo kind of following in Apple's footsteps. Oh, 100%. Um, and I said this a, a ways back when they first started talking about the um, kind of the, what project uh, geez, or code name NX. The switch? Yeah, I NX. agree with you. When they first started talking about that, I talked. I, I always liked to quote uh, Iwata talking about how the iPhone and the iPad were brothers in the same family. And how them looking at that needed to apply to what they were doing with NX. And I always believed that NX was not necessarily their code name for the console, which obviously we know it was. But I always believed that NX was the code name for the operating system. That they were really working on how can we get something like iPhone and iPad that works seamlessly across both um, to continue. I think if we look at it like that, I think Switch is very much like the iPhone was in 2007. It's, it's the beginning of a thing. It's clearly not where it, right? Like the iPhone launched without the app store, right? Like imagine that world, right? And it took up- iPhone uh, launched without 3G. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, and it was still amazing. And then it just like got better and better and better and better. So I think that not that the hardware is going to drastically change year over year the way the iPhone has, but the software will continue to be the backbone and evolve. Um, they said that as the- there's a quote in here from Miyamoto um, where he talks about the Switch being, you know, that many consoles will, they're, they kind of have like a five to, to, up until now, let's see, the hardware life cycle has trended at around five or six years, but it'd be very interesting if we could prolong that life cycle. And I think you should be looking forward to that. Um that's yeah that that part was interesting to me where it seems like they want to stretch the thing stretch this out over like a decade um because someone talks of this this investor had asked about um how other companies might feel threatened by the way nintendo switch captured core gamers right from the launch um how a release of a succession of major titles uh led to its kind of overwhelming success and that the video game system can be carried around. Um, and the question asked specifically was that, um, what do you see as critical during the coming business year, the second year for Nintendo Switch? Um, and Miyamoto had that response about, like, I think this is longer than five or six years. I think this is a very, very long-term investment. Um, and Kimishima says that year two is critical um, to how business will expand. Um, and talking specifically about how the switch can be played anytime, anywhere with anyone. So the focus is to continue to release numerous software titles that provide that experience and hammer home the concept and encourage consumers to discover their own ways of having fun. Yeah. We'll, we will release a series of products, including some not announced today, continue to create games like Nintendo Labo that people look forward to playing, etc., etc., etc. They talked about the, um, kind of coalescing of the hardware and software teams and the um, not just that, but how they used to split their 3DS team and their Wii U into two literal different buildings. And now they yeah. put them all under one roof and they also now swallowed. I didn't know this, this was a, this kind of came out of this, but they put their marketing teams, they put their sales teams all in the same thing. Manufacturing teams, everyone's in the same building now or in the same thing. So they have a very, very open communication. So as they start talking about one thing, this, all the teams are overhearing it and working really, really closely together, which is another reason why kind of Switch was likely successful. Uh, and then in regards to a 3DS successor. Um, 4DS. 4DS announced during the q and No. Um, <laughs> I, I, this or the one 1DS I, because you're going backwards. <laughs> right, right. right. Um, this one I am going to kind of read verbatim. We'll, we'll close out on this. Uh, Q10, the final question of the, of the hour, I says, uh, I'd like to talk about the direction of your long-term business strategy for broadening the gaming population. The market for games can be divided into the three segments of games for dedicated video platforms, uh, video game platforms, smart devices, and for computer-based online gaming. 
Mr. Miyamoto earlier spoke of his ultimate ambition that a Nintendo Switch be owned by every single person. But do you think that the Nintendo Switch and smart device businesses can, alone can sufficiently appeal to all three market segments? Nintendo Switch, a console type game system that can be carried around, is very similar to a handheld game system. So do you intend not to release a successor to Nintendo 3DS or do you plan to treat the handheld game system as a kid-friendly product coexisting with Nintendo Switch? I think it's something we've all been kind of wondering. Mm-hmm. Um, and while there's no answer, Kimishima says, like there's no, because I, I don't think, think they even know. Um, Kimishima says, Nintendo 3DS continues to sell, so for now we hope consumers will embrace it together with Nintendo Switch. But as for what transpires in the future, that is uncharted territory. Um, I don't have the, this is already like at the bottom, so I don't have this dude's. Well, the 3DS, like, it's not really even the first party stuff that's driving it. There's tons of third party support on that, right? Yeah, there's a I lot mean, of that. <laughs> but it's also like now if you're if you're walking into the 3DS family now, like you have this huge library of oh, not only 3DS stuff, but DS mm-hmm. stuff. So that's why like I think last year it had a better sales year than it did the year before, which is fucking crazy. Yeah, and then uh something that the Switch is still lacking, a virtual console of some type. Right, 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 right. Uh, 3DS yeah. at least has that. Because I know I don't think we ever said this on air, but I was talking to you about buying Earthbound on 3DS. Yeah, it was a good before. Movie. Yeah, yeah, before I had the uh, my surprise on my yeah. birthday, but um, yeah, I mean that would have got me back playing my Switch. Yeah, like, or not my sorry 3DS, 3DS yeah, yeah. 2DS, yeah, whatever. Uh, the other answer comes from Koshiota, the director and senior executive officer. Uh, from a technology standpoint, home console game systems, handheld game systems, and a system like Nintendo Switch that is a dedicated video game platform with aspects of a handheld all use different kinds of computers and memory. The required technologies differ depending on whether the emphasis is on power consumption, performance, or a balance of the two. Regarding development, we have not yet decided which direction to steer towards, but we have a variety of possibilities under consideration. The technologies that would be required for platform development include some that could take an extremely long time to develop and are ever-evolving. So instead of narrowing down the technologies, we are widening the search. Once we've decided on the direction for future platforms inside the company, we will begin. We will quickly begin preparations to track the key technologies. But I don't think they know. I think right now they were probably surprised by the 3DS sales uh, and, and why not lean into it and keep dedicating resources to making Switch a fucking badass platform. Because... The Wii U had its shortcomings, but I think its ultimate shortcoming was software. You had such this, you had this huge gap in between software releases. Um, it just made it impossible to stay up with that thing, you know. Like, and a lot of the releases were ports or HD, and not even ports. They were downgrades. Like they yeah. were like, well, did you did you not play this on your other consoles? Well, if you want a shittier version of it, here it is. It's not always the case, right? But like it was. Yeah. It was, Mass Effect Three wasn't that thing. I know. Crazy, but not, not two or two. one. Yeah, just three. Just three. It was. Yeah. Yeah, at launch. Yeah. I forgot. Um, yeah, exactly. That's that's why I like to <laughs> remind people. Mass Effect Three was not a thing. Yeah, but it, even like from a first party standpoint, like that's the thing that kind of drives Nintendo. If you look at Switch in its first year, people weren't buying that thing because you could play Rocket League on it. Doom. It or Doom. That's a dope thing. It's mm-hmm. a badass thing. But people were buying it because it had Breath of the Wild and had Mario in less than six months. Well, just over six months apart. Uh, where the Wii U didn't see a Mario game outside of the 3D World, 3D World and the new Super Mario Brother game, right? But not like a, tr- not what everyone had not expected. Like a not a Galaxy. Yeah. Um, and the Wii U didn't see a, a fucking Zelda game until its end of days. You know what I mean? The Wii U had far that, set that, sail. That well, it had come Twilight. Out the same day as a Switch. Right. Which, <laughs> it had what Twilight Princess and remake. And Wind Waker remake. And if Mark was here, he would like to point out saying. the fact that the Wii U version, if you pre-order, it got a Switch t-shirt. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? They were already like killing the Wii U version before it even came out. Um, the that wasn't a sex thing. That was a sorry. That was a, yeah. listeners. I just indicated to Matt that we need to plug the laptop in, but I made <laughs> sex fingers. This. He made a very sexual. I just looked at Matt. And and, I knew what it was. Yeah. I, I, it took a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the Wii U did not die because of that. It died because of software, you know? Um, so I, I don't know. It, it is what it is. But the Switch, I think, is doing so well just because it's it's got the software to back it. 
And year two, who knows, but year two is potentially off to a good start. Pokemon comes this year. We've already got Yoshi and Kirby coming down the pipeline, which those aren't going to be your big... Yoshi and Kirby are not Mario and Zelda. Be, like, your arms and stuff. Yeah. Where, like, I don't think arms did, like, super numbers, but I think it did definitely did well at enough. launch. Yeah. It did. It piqued enough interest. I'm... I'm kind of... Because what Shigeru was saying... He said Shigeru said that he wants a Switch in everybody's hands. Mm-hmm. I really want to see what other games they're going to bring to the Switch to bring to everybody's hands. You, you see, know what I mean? Because they're bringing Dark Souls. That's coming. Right. Yeah, it's Dark dope. Souls is coming. It's dope. I still don't know that's going to be a like, platform playing one, but, I mean, we'll see when we get there. You're right, because it's coming to, to all of them, right? Yeah, but, like, there was, there's was there been one game that's been floating around on that on, on that console that came out in January, and, you know, not, not a big deal was made about it, but it's on the, the, the store now, Darkest Dungeon. I thought I was oh, done yeah. with that game. Yeah. Now I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, that's, like, because the way it plays is very turn-based, and, you know, like... Uh, like you don't have to like it's not very twitch like you know you have okay. time to think of your decisions and stuff like that like i'm looking at that i'm like man i can sit in my room and play that on a big tv if i really wanted to or i can take that downstairs in the living room while i'm watching tv or something like that and just play it there and i was you know and with playstation you could do that and then like and the save your game and to upload it to the cloud and then you have to take your vita and hopefully your vita's charged right, right. you know because that's the separate it's a separate thing it's yeah, not yeah, your yeah. switch that's in your dock charging uh yeah that's, it's you that's know a- and then you have to go to the main menu bring in a save and then, and then load into it but like with the switch i can pick up and i can always sleep in the middle of the battle i was in like it's I a, never thought I was going to go back to that game, but every time I see it on the eShop, I'm just like, oh, man. <laughs> and that's where this thing becomes more and more attractive. Like, it, I'm t- every night when, we're, when, when I'm down here, I feel like, shit, I'm closed off. You know what I mean? Like, that was why I moved the fucking PlayStation upstairs, because I could remote play and play Final Fantasy XIV and still sit beside Katie. I'm, not, I'm paying attention to that. I'm talking at her occasionally. I still, you know, but we're still at least like the proximity there. Yeah. When yeah. she when she laughs at something, I go, "Huh? What happened?" <laughs> like I'm not. <laughs> we've been marathoning Roseanne on Amazon Prime, and it's like she'll say something like, "Man, that was really fucked up." When blah blah blah, I'm like, "When the fuck did that happen?" She's like, <laughs> three hours ago." I'm like, "Oh shit! All right, yeah, okay, yeah, I guess so." <laughs> I have no idea. I thought I was paying attention. I thought I knew what happened. Dan said a thing, and then you know, Darlene said that thing, and. Becky was upset about something. I don't know, but I had no idea. There's stuff like that, and I've always I said from the start, Rocket League's the perfect game on that. And look, I don't have tons of hours in Rocket League, but let me tell you what, I have the majority of my hours of Rocket League are in the living room. And that's the thing, like I haven't played Rocket League really in a long, but I like almost bought it. It's on sale right now. It's five mm-hmm. bucks off, which is whatever. But I'm yeah. still like, it's like thirty three. What's it? Thirty three percent off technically. Yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That number's nice and big. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's twenty five percent off. I think it's nineteen ninety nine regular. Uh, it's done to fifteen. Whatever. I'll buy um, it for you. I'll buy it for the fourth time. It's fine. But there's something key about what Miyamoto says um, in regards to that switch in every hand. Um, I said we were going to close on that last one. We'll close on this one just because Ben brought it up. Uh, our ultimate ambition is for a Nintendo Switch to be owned not just by every family but by every single person. The biggest attraction of Nintendo Switch is that the console can be carried around and used easily for competitive gameplay via local wireless connection. If consumers come to take it for granted that everybody has a Nintendo Switch, then we can create new and very Nintendo genres of play. A Nintendo Switch can have a life apart from smart devices and other video game systems. Expanding the Nintendo Switch world this way is a means of eliminating risk. I just saw the golden idea. We all were talking about what's the next skew of the of the Switch. Is it going to be an XL or is it even smaller? Something's no, you just take out the dock. Mm-hmm. There's one dock in the living room, and someone can dock up at any point because mm-hmm. you sell the, sock, the dock separately. That's it. You make a yeah. switch that's $150 because how much is that dock? 90 Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you make a $200 switch. $200 switch saves you 100 bucks on the dock, so you just have the handheld version. See, but that's what people were saying about the uh, the Wii U, remember? Like, yeah, where's the one? The, sell the one without the tablet. Right. Yeah, but you needed the... You need a tablet for shit. Like Yeah, like the, you need you the, needed the a tablet software, to, sorry, yeah. sorry Mike. You needed a tablet to connect to the internet. Yeah, it was oh, okay. there was some weird proprietary software shit with that. Like but the switch 
you know, is the next level of that where it actually works. Right. And it doesn't feel like a Fisher Price toy. So. But you don't need that in the dock at no, all. No, you don't. And then, of course, you need the first SKUs to come out with a dock because that's how you do the Switch thing. That's, right. It's in the fucking name. I can name. see that then. But I don't know year two or year three. Maybe. I don't know if they will. I think they still want that to be positioned as a. But maybe that, that position pivots, right? But I don't mean, like, how many times have you come over in the last. You've been over twice. But I can tell you, in the last week, you've been over here twice, now thrice, but twice. And both times I said, oh, shit, did you bring your Switch? Because I wanted to do a match of Splatoon. Like it's, nah. I, right, and you didn't. <laughs> but that eventual future where it is something that's as uh-huh. – I don't know that it will ever hit that thing where it's as, as necessary as your phone in your pocket. Like You can't – like that is the thing. Like, the, the ultimate thing is that you need your phone in your pocket. But if you can get to the point where – you're leaving the house and you're like, do I have my phone? Do I have my switch? If they can get that, I think that does change everything. I don't know if I don't know if I ever hit that point. I also hate leaving the house too. But like tomorrow, I'm going to New York. On my way like I, the <laughs> only thing in my mind is What's your data plan look like? Eh. So let me tell you what, that was the shortest ride at DC yeah. when I launched Splatoon two with a hotspot. Playing through? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I was getting pissed at everything because huh. I just began just going my way or going against me. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Man, I like I played like four matches of it that I looked up and really driving by this uh I I I don't know the name of the street, but I know where to turn because it's just big ass Apple billboard and you gotta turn at the billboard. And I look up and we're <laughs> at the billboard, I'm like Oh shit. Oh shit. I, I, I all right, cute no, no, can't stop the lobby, let's turn off my switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you know, it can't exit searching. Nope. <laughs> you know. That makes sense. But yeah, that I mean, if they can get to that point where each of us have a switch and we're always making sure we bring it where we go, I think that could be that could be big. But yeah, I'm, I'm take that's the only thing I'm taking on the bus. Take my headphones so I can listen to a podcast or something. But I'm gonna have that so I can play whatever. Still don't want to play it. I love it. That's it. That's a show. I think. Unless you guys got anything else? I ain't got shit. I wasn't going to say the Metal Gear Solid 4 or Metal Gear Solid HD remake, but that's a rumor. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. And it's a it's a false rumor, apparently. Uh, I thought you were going to bring up that shit about art and survive. Oh, no, no, sorry. no. Sorry, no, no, no. I didn't mean to be so offensive, but I thought you were talking about that game. <laughs> Was that Pyramid Head in Metal yeah. Gear? Yeah. 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 Silent Hill artist did art for survive. Well, Don't right. do it. We won't be friends if you do it. Don't do it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You gonna buy it? I'm gonna survive? Hell no. No. You gonna try it? No. I I was intrigued when it first came out because it was it was getting generally good buzz, and I watched 40 minutes of it. And I said, I'm on. <laughs> this game looks boring, and they did Kojima bad. And this is just shit canon. Remember, this is canon to the main storyline. Of Metal Gear Solid. Bad yeah. news. Bad yeah. news. Just give me a Castlevania game, dudes. Come on. You getting that bloodstain? You getting what? You getting bloodstain? Yeah. yeah. Still not. I agree. What you Symphony of the Night two and three. Symphony of the Day. No. <laughs> I really. I That'd want be the easiest boss fight ever. <laughs> <laughs> I want that Castlevania 1999 game. There's that untold year, man. That untold, we never know what happened. There's a piece in the in the Dracula timeline, 1999, badass battle. That was the one that put Dracula away forever. You never got to play. I'm that not game. gonna see that. That game never came. Not gonna see that. Yeah. Anyway, that's a podcast. If you like this podcast? Freecheese.com. That's it. Twitter. I know. <laughs> Freecheese.com, iTunes, Google Play, etc. Uh, find the podcast, listen to it, enjoy it, tell your friends about it because uh, we like friends. Twitter, some free cheese is uh, at some free cheese is the freecheese.com. Ben is at Sev Ben's. Matt is at Matty Ice 131. I am at the free cheese. Podcast, the free cheese.com is the email address. That's it. Who knows what next week will bring? Not virtual console. You never know. Or Not Mother happening. Three. Or Mother 3. Hey, you never know. But I might start Earthbound. Ooh, dude, if you start Earthbound this week, my life will be complete. Dude, I got to... You go to New York tomorrow. I got to come over with dogs. I got to do That's something true. tomorrow. There's really nothing on your PlayStation that I want to download and play right now. 
Yeah. So I just might throw it at Minnie in my, in my mm. bag and start it. Hmm. What yeah. a fitting place to start at your house, you know? That makes sense. Dogs already love it, so they can park all the music for you. Why not? Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, that's it. We're going to do it. We already did it. <laughs> We're going to go now. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, listener, for listening. We'll see you soon.